Stuff. We all are. For a moment, this good time would never end. You and me, you and me, just wasting time. I was kissing you. You were kissing me, love. That's all messed up. Dancing moonlight. Now I'm not wrong, so wrong. fine. I just wanna stay, 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 stay. stay. is everybody doing tonight i've got michael with me that makes me want to go stay <laughs> makes me want to do anything but stay oh lord yeah the two of them together it's a doozy to say to the very least it's like she was trying to put some kind of uh, not accent but some kind of like vocal something on it yeah she was What's going up, Aaron? To classically trained. Hey, Shaza. Performance. Right. She's. <laughs> I wonder if she was classically trained while going to medical school. While becoming becoming a nurse, a, nurse, a mathematician, getting her I, IQ up to that of presidents. All while being on YouTube before it was even YouTube. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and all the while. 
while fighting death at every corner because she's been dying Always. the entire time as well. All right. <laughs> Speaking of, Shani has been quite uh, quiet today. Haven't heard much from her. Thank God. Um, but 22 minutes ago, she posted this on her community tab. It says, things are going in a good direction. Today was a wonderful day. Tomorrow, Jason has therapy. I'm seeing the boys again this week, and I start therapy on the 15th. I want to thank all the beautiful hearts that have blessed me and Jason. You kept us alive, and with that, I'm eternally grateful. The burgers and fries were delicious. I need to remind myself that I'm making the right steps forward. You kept wow. them alive. You kept them alive with your burgers so, and fries. But what do you th like? Do you think it's bullshit? I don't know. I wonder if anybody bought them anything. I'm starting to feel like some of the things that I've other people have been saying. Um, you know, maybe oh, about them saying it just correct. to fuck with you. Yeah. So here's how it feels to well, me. Well, not not just to fuck with, but like just to kind of give this appearance as though this lifestyle is working for them. Right. You right. You know what I mean? Well, because I do think that is important to them. They don't want people to think. They want to make just enough. You know what I mean to get by. They want to be able to still ask for money and all that, but. They also don't want to look like no one's helping them or because that makes them look like they can't be trusted. You know what I mean? If other people are sending them money, then it makes right. them seem. Then if cheap. someone sees that, they think, well, somebody's done it, so they can't be all right. bad. Someone's sending right. them money. Right. That is 100%. But here's how it feels to me. Okay. It just seems like it's too much all at the same time. Like, mm -hmm. so you're telling me that today, uh, Jason gets into. Uh, therapy you find out when you're going to start there y'all been doing y'all been talking about this shit for three years and now you find out the day he's and starting and it's the tomorrow other day I, I thought the other day they were talking about it so why didn't they she just say the date then that's kind of right weird too, and, and then she's gonna see her kids again this week like she's seen him at all like you have you don't see him for eight months and then all of a sudden you're seeing him twice in the same week jason right. has therapy well, she has therapy on the 15th but you're, and you're reading going too in much a, into that because it's all it says is I'm seeing the boys again this week. That would make it seem like she's but seeing Zoom. them often. But it could be, or it could, but or it's just she's saying again because this is you know again. But what she's what's not said there is that oh the last time was like you know in the summer six months ago right, right? or or <laughs> even further than that. Like but it she, feels to me that they watch you right. I think that they watch your show and I think they heard. When we were saying that people would respond differently if they were doing things to help themselves. Mm -hmm. That's how it feels to me because it's just, it's too much in the other direction. Like if mm -hmm. they had said like one thing, like, you know, hey, we're starting to do something like anything like that. But this is just, it's too much. Like yeah. these are the laziest people mm -hmm. known to man. And then all of a sudden, in one day, they've done all this. I just don't buy it. Well, and I, I don't know if you, we watched it together, um, but the other day when rev was talking about somebody it basically paid for them you know got them that pizza and all that food have fun peaches and said um you know uh take pictures of it and really rub, rub it, it in, in the right. faces so it's like is that real and if so is that what's behind this kind of post as well or um was that not real and, it and was that was just them, them doing it and they just want to try to blame it on something else because it didn't go over well good point and i think they stuff like that what's it up what's up killer what's up kamal um i think you're totally right though about the the burgers and whatever they said um Fries. i think you're right i think that it's to, to let people, when they see this community post, because they know that they're begging, um, if someone's done it, then it, they're more likely to get someone else to. Right, and it doesn't because look no one, no one can put comments. No one, so no one can say, "This is bullshit." Don't give these people anything. 
So all they get is what their their side of it, what they're saying. Right. And it then it makes it also not look as bad for them to be like say they're not they're they just didn't get anything today or whatever. So they post this and they say that anyway. And then that way tomorrow when they ask, you know, it it's like it doesn't it's not like again, like this hasn't been working. It's just every day, you know, is a new day and they're gonna ask every day. Right. You know, for donations. Yeah. Um and uh I think that they don't want people to think that they're getting that much because they don't want people not to give because they think that they don't need the help. But I don't another know. reason, though, just and somebody about all of it that's really it's weird. just too much, right? Doesn't it feel like it's just so much? Mm-hmm. Um, but somebody also the reason I also think that they watch you. Um, and tell me if I'm reading into like somebody brought it up to me, but the other day when I was talking about um how if you're with something like they you know they say they love each other and they're soulmates and all this stuff, but if you're actually soulmates, you don't let the other person be a piece of shit. Like you push them to be more than that. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the next day she put that post about uh you know Jason's my best friend, like all this stuff. Do you think that that was just a coincidence or? that they saw it i mean i don't know i think that they watch for sure somebody just mentioned it to me so i and the timing just seemed a little suspicious i mean she's definitely responded to things before like in a way that i know that she watched it yeah so wouldn't surprise me um but anyway so it's been quiet today um I, you know, was thinking about just, like, not doing anything, but I didn't want to leave you guys hanging, and I figured we could get on here and hang out for a little while and watch some some older stuff and maybe throw in some other stuff in while we're here <clears throat> and just kind of uh, have a relaxing Friday night. So, go ahead. Oh, also, before you get started, I have an update on my mom. Let me pull up that text chain um <laughs> Pulse. Uh. so um she's having an angiogram and a craniotomy next week and they're doing surgery so hopefully after that oh, everything wow. will be fine so they're doing yeah. sur- they decided to go ahead and do surgery Without like doing a bunch of uh, yeah other stuff so, first. Apparently, it's, it was growing faster than they thought, and it's um, pushing on the speech center of her brain, mm-hmm. and so she's having trouble um, with speech and things like that and headaches. So they thought just going ahead and getting rid of it is the best way to do it. So it's they how are going. She, how does she feel about that? Um, I think she was feeling better about having more time and like them trying to shrink it and then, you know, removing something smaller. But I think that she'll be happier once it's done. I mean, and they say that once they remove it, she will recover completely. Oh, wow. Um, And she said another thing like about the MRI picture, it's kind of, it kind of plays tricks on how you look at it because it's not actually going into her brain. Like it looks like it's, I mean, it just very deep into her brain. But that's actually, it's kind of spread out wide and oh, not okay. quite as deep. And uh, oh, okay. she said that the way that, so it's kind of, um, it just looks like it's, it looks like it's way deeper than it is. So, but it's, it's quite large, like in area. So but it's not thick. It's not that thick. Is that what right. It's saying? like depth wise. It's not. Right. That's good. You're right. That's awesome. Yeah. <clears throat> and I mean, they are, I mean, they are sure that they said it's completely benign. Um, that's really good. Yeah. So now it's just removing it and recovery. Well, awesome. Yeah. Good news. I mean, it's a little bit quick, but I mean. And, then, and she's just, well, we'll talk about other stuff. Um, yeah. Off stream. All right. So is there any other. I really appreciate everybody. Like everybody's been sending me messages and stuff. And I really yeah, appreciate thank it. Thank you guys for that. We and really so does she. That. Yeah, the prayers and well wishes and stuff, it means a lot. 
So thank you for that. Um, so what I figured we would start with, I don't think, I don't know if Michael has seen this. I know we have not watched it together and um, I wanted to see and get his reaction to this stream, which is right when Rev gets out of jail um, and they're, you know, <clears throat> trying to claim, he's trying to claim that he's leaving Pennsylvania. He's not there when, oh, wait a minute, did I lose Michael? Are no. you still here? Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, it was an update that popped up. Um, this was when they were trying to act like they were not together, but they were. And we knew this already because I had told you too that like, oh, he's there and she's had sex with him yeah. already. And, yeah. You know what I mean? So he's clearly there. But I don't know if you've ever seen this stream. It's not that long, but it's just he's such a bad liar. Um, and he lies a lot in this. But what he doesn't well, I don't know if he doesn't lie about it, but what he doesn't he does admit to the child abuse. So um, I think it's, uh, you know, important to see it for that reason as well. But it's not that long, so we're going to jump right into this. That's the craziest thing about all this shit they try to, like, say. Like, the dude said he did it. Like, oh, they try yeah. to, like, you know, push culpability off on whatever it was. But, I mean, he said he did it. Yeah. And he says it here. So, here we go. Well, macho man, Randy Savage. Oh, yeah, dig it. Yeah, he... I mean, right off the top, who the fuck... Like, you seriously just got out of jail for child abuse. And you're I like... don't even oh, know. Oh, oh, Randy Savage. Like a 12-year-old. Like, it it's... reminded me of something that Jay did, like, would do when he was 12. You know I what know. I mean? <laughs> and this and I mean, man is our age. With the full Eileen Worono's hair, too. Yeah, he has it bad in this one. But if you watch, he doesn't do the neck thing in this a lot. And he no? actually... No. And he actually looks quite, like, normal. And the, my theory is, you know, he hadn't had time to get fucked up on whatever they do. Oh, shit. Because or he, he he they probably already he was probably already doing some stuff, but he just wasn't like that messed up because later that night I'll show you one of the ones from later that night after this, and you can see the difference in how he went from like normal here to out of his mind cracked out. What do you think about this theory though? Maybe in jail he was being medicated. Um for I whatever think he wasn't smoking delta eight and so you think he was just sober for 13 days in jail and yep. then gets out and mm -hmm. wow i do i do that's just, crazy you'll see what i mean body language and stuff just so keep that in mind when you're watching this is that this is right only like an hour uh, or it was this is probably like two or three hours into him being home which is ironic too because he says a. a and this how far he is and there's and how long he's been driving and it's it wasn't physically possible so that's how you know he's lying about it too but um yeah from from right now when when i show you after this the next one you'll be sh you'll be kind of shocked uh -oh. because he's way different acting he's like a legend to me and a great hero to the world for giving people so much entertainment hi this is, well, what do you want to call me? You got Jason Avocados 420. You got uh, Revelation News, which was my first name that I was known on the internet as Revelation News. Uh, so who you got today? Well, you got you got Jason Egroff today. That's who you got. So uh, lots of crazy stuff I'm sure has been going on out there in terms of, you know, Whoa, what the hell is going on with Rev? What happened? What happened? What happened? Uh, no, not really. I, I could tell you the whole story, and uh, it makes me uh, extremely depressed to think about it at this point because I have to now go on in my life in a totally new life. 
a new way, a new, uh, you know, everything is, is new now because. Which is bullshit. He's literally like <laughs> in the driveway. Shani and I, unfortunately, this was the straw that, that snapped the camels back in half and the camels fucking on the side of the road bleeding out. Uh, it's <laughs> over. Right. A little dramatic. A little overboard, right? Th that's the problem with liars. I love they when they try to far. use these things. Like, what is the one Shani just recently said? Um, revenge is a oh, best cold served dish on a best cold when it's served. There's like something weird. Cold when served or something. <laughs> like, she said it. I, we have to go back and listen to figure it out because I can't remember either. But it was, it's, she fucked it up bad. Yeah, they're bad at life. Yeah. And trying to speak. A new way, a new, uh, you know, everything is, is new now because Shani and I, unfortunately, this was the straw that, that snapped the camels back in half and the camels fucking on the side of the road bleeding out. Uh, it's over. And am I going to tell you where the fuck I am? No. Am I in Pennsylvania? Absolutely fucking not. And I pray to Jesus Christ that I never have to go back there. I don't care. He's in the driveway. <laughs> he's, he's not even in the state. I shit you not. He's in the driveway. But, and what's so funny is that he says that here. Like he says, that I'm not even in Pennsylvania. Later in the same fucking thing, he says he's still in Pennsylvania. So he well, go. He can't keep track of his lie. Like he's just he's he's the worst person at lying ever. I mean, he really is like just horrible at it. Whether he's high or sober, he can't lie for shit. If my uncle's there, I don't give a shit. I'm gonna tell you where the fuck I am. No, am I in Pennsylvania? Absolutely fucking not. And I pray to Jesus Christ that I never have to go back there. I don't care if my uncle's there. I don't give a shit. I never want to be in Pennsylvania again in my life because the amount of bullshit that I went through during the time that I was even in the relationship and I'm not going into that because I love my wife. I will, I'll, I'll call her my wife for the rest of my life. She's my dove, Shani. Uh, it makes She's my dove. My dove. <laughs> <laughs> That bitch ain't gonna take that is flight. The biggest damn dove I've ever seen. Get that the bitch is a pterodactyl. <laughs> I like cried so much at this point, folks, that like I was in jail. I was in jail for a total of fourteen days. Big deal. And uh, those, wait, well, excuse me, thirteen days, which is of course God. God comes in and says, "Here's your stamp." That if you ever do end up. What? Here's your stamp. Because it was 13 instead of 14? Wow. Is that a, is 13 a God number? I mean, my birthday is on the 13th, so. <laughs> then it must not be. Shut your mouth. And uh, those, wait, well, excuse me, 13 days, which is, of course, God. God comes in and says, here's your stamp. That if you ever do end up with another unlucky woman to end up with your fucking crazy ass look, I like I look like somebody that's just I haven't had a shower yet or nothing. What's crazy is he looks cleaner here than he normally looks. And healthier and like he's eight and doesn't have bags under his eyes and shit. I think you're right. I think he's sober. It's like he comes he's... out looking way better than he did go in, which is pretty sad. You should come out looking worse like. You don't eat well in jail, but longest time he's had sober in a while. Mm. And he was getting, you know, to eat without having to share with Shani. <laughs> Can't believe the other day that she literally did not share that Taco Bell with him. Oh yeah. I mean, my God. There's something. Uh, else. they they put me up with housing in the place that I'm at. You know. Uh. But but I got out of well, PA. Here we go. First lie. They put me up in housing at the place I'm at. He's nowhere. He's in the driveway. Like somebody that's just, I haven't had a shower yet. Or hey, nothing. Jeans, did you see Drader's new thing? No. What is it? Somebody just asked. Drader put out a video today, I think. Oh, okay. We'll check it out in a little bit.
uh, they, they put me up with housing in the place that I'm at, you know, uh, but, but I got out of PA as like, I, I could not do it. I, I got in my car, I started driving and I, I'm, I ended up in a place that I'm at right now and I'm not sure where it is, but I literally got out. He's not. <laughs> Hold on. Let me go back. I gotta hear this uh, they, they put me up with housing in the place that I'm at, you know, Ooh. uh, who but, put him but up I got out of PA as like, I got out of PA. Keep that in your, in your mind. But who is he, I, I who is he acting like is put him, put him up in housing. Oh, he doesn't, he's not going to tell you that much. But is he insinuating that the police like, Oh, you're out of jail. Well, yeah. we'll, we'll put he you is. up somewhere. He is. He's yeah. He's that dumb. He thinks wow. that people are going to believe that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Do it. I, I got in my car. I started driving and I, I'm, I ended up in a place that I'm at right now and I'm not sure where it is, but I literally got out and my, you know, my car, I just started driving, you know, I, I like immediately. This whole thing is, is a lie that he's just making this up as he goes. He didn't he's drive so anywhere. bad at it. it yeah. I love it. I mean, this is He hilarious. literally has drove nowhere. He is in the fucking driveway. But I literally got out and my, you know, my car, I just started driving, you know, I, I like immediately as I got out, it's not that, not too, that long that I've been out, but I, I started just driving. And to be honest, like, I'm, I think I might, st I'm probably still am in Pennsylvania, but it's nowhere. <laughs> See, so now he, he, he said he's not, he wasn't in Pennsylvania. That he had drove out of Pennsylvania, all that. Now he's saying he probably still is in Pennsylvania. Dude, he said he's acting like he's he's been out for a couple hours, like two hours, but he's acting like he's six hours away. Yes, like he doesn't realize how dumb. I, I, mean, I don't. Off. It's just so bad. It's I love so it. bad. Long that I've been out, but I I started just driving. And to be honest, like, I am I think I might, st I probably still am in Pennsylvania, but it's nowhere near where I was. Absolutely nowhere near where I was. Um, but I want you to know, I've, I've heard some of the stuff that's been, that's been mulling around, um, you know, on the internet, um, because these things happen. Like, I come out and, like, I come out and I just, I go to YouTube and I see these things. I should probably stop going to YouTube altogether at this point because it's only going to be a negative thing to remind me of her. Look, and he's trying to act like he's all beat up about not Poor being guy. with her. Poor guy. Poor guy. He's trying to act like he's like, like I, I can't be with her. And he's <laughs> literally in the driveway. Like, he's the worst actor. Because I can't be with her. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> looks, at, looks the other way like he's going to cry or something. Literally, Shanny's up in the bed. Jason! Right. <laughs> you know she is. She's probably actually outside the window. Outside the window? The car window. Oh. Mm. Her you big ass, probably, she probably didn't take enough time to get up and move yeah, that true. much that. She's looking through the... Yeah, she's just looking out the window. The house window, yeah. These things. I should probably stop going to YouTube altogether at this point because it's only going to be a negative thing to remind me of her. That won't happen. Uh, what go. really fucking destroys this is that... What really destroys everything, actually... It's so weird how he's looking me, around. Is that I'm the cause of it. Because he's paranoid that somebody's going to come walking up. Knowing that he's there. He's, right, yeah, because he's, he's looking, in his own driveway in the car. Mm -hmm, he's looking around for CPS that could be pulling up at any minute. Yeah. I did it. I did it. Was it was me. Now, I'm pretty sure she told you the story. So oh, what boy, she said dude. was probably true because Shani does not lie. <laughs> uh, Shani does <laughs> not the fuck lie. She does. Yeah, the fuck she does. She I guess either does Rev, lie. huh? Oh my god. That night was we were 
uh, we were just hanging out, having a good time. But then I, I, I put on the movie The Devil's Advocate like an asshole. I don't know why I picked that movie. Probably Keanu because I had just played cyberpunk and I was like, oh, shit, you know, I want to watch a Keanu movie. See, I think that part of the story is true. You can tell by the way he just told that 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 was true. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because he said this dumb sh extra shit that he always has to say. But that actually lines up. He probably did want to put on that movie after playing Cyberpunk. That sound, that's, that's the type of shit he does. You know what I mean? That sounds like a dumb rip thing to do. Mm -hmm. uh, that night was... We were... Uh, we were just hanging out, having a good time, but then I, I, I put on the movie The Devil's Advocate, like an asshole. I don't know why I picked that movie, probably Keanu, because I had just played cyberpunk, and I was like, oh, shit, you know, I want to watch a Keanu movie. <laughs> I want to watch a Keanu movie. Undead Pikachu Gaming, thank you for the super chat. You said she lies like a cheap rug. Yeah, she does, and so does he. <laughs> I don't know how Bad. he could say that with a straight face, because Shani uh... doesn't lie. Right. Thank you, Undead Pikachu Gaming. Nitro Man. Oh, so, he goes again. I got this stupid he's phone, getting, too. It feels like he's this. getting higher and higher, like, as we're watching him. Right, he probably he can't, is. He's, he's not staying on one thought. Oh, but it's going to be way worse. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, after this one. <sighs> but that's the last time I saw her, man. Listen, to this, this whole next part's a lie, and he's trying really hard to act <laughs> heartbroken, dude. It's bad. I got this stupid phone, too. I took this. <sighs> but that's the last time I saw her, man. I, t I, took, I took this. I took this thing, and that's it. Um... So, I'm, I'm literally... Guys, I'm, I'm literally... We're, I, I put on that movie, right? I put on The Devil's Advocate, and I, I totally fucking forgot that, holy shit, this is going to trigger the fuck out of her because it has, right in the beginning, this little girl, like, they're in court, and this little girl that, that could be a little shanty is there, you know, crying about a rape, and, and it's Keanu Reeves, of course, defending her, and or defend, defending the rapist, and it's horrible, disgusting shit, right? I, in my stupidity... Had, did not think of that, that it'd be triggering, right? And it, it flew off from there, you know what I mean? And, and the, the fight came and, and stuff was said and, and stuff like that. And, but I went into, Zach, long story short, I went into Zachary's room and I did hit him. I mean, it happened, you know? So, I don't know. So, long story short with that, he literally is in a fight with Shani, gets angry with Shani, goes in the kid's room, kicks the kid instead of Shani. I cannot think of a more like cowardly how, move. I mean, my God. And just really is not that ashamed. I also cannot think of an excuse. Not meds. I mean, not even I blacked out and do not remember that is not an excuse no and shame on her that she accepts this as an excuse and is you know uh is just as much to blame in terms of the abuse as he is even if she didn't physically do it herself yeah so I've, I, I've been driving for like five, six, seven hours. <laughs> I, you gotta love that. I've been driving for five, six, seven hours. Like, how many hours is it, dumbass? And I did hit him. <laughs> I mean, it happened, you know? So, I don't know. I, I, I've been driving for like five, six, seven hours. Just I just went to the house, and I don't even know what time it is. I, I, I went to the house and I just got my car no, and you didn't. I left. No, you went to the house, you went in and y'all went in and had sex with her kids in the next room. Oh, I wonder if he even knows. Is this before he knows that that's out there? Yes. Wow. He doesn't know yet. 
the next one that I'm going to show you, he knows. <laughs> Uh-oh. The one later in the night, yeah. Because I'm not allowed, you know, whatever. Yeah, I whatever. I, I, I went to the house, and I just got my car, and I left. Because I'm not allowed, you know, whatever. Uh, I grabbed a couple things, and I got the clothes on my back, basically, and I'm just, I, I'm, I'm, I'm lies. on the grace of God. They let me out. Just lies. And that's why he's like, I got the clothes on my back, I got the, what? yeah, you have nothing else with you, because you're, you didn't fucking go anywhere. It's funny, though, because he doesn't know he needs to, he doesn't know that, that information's out there, so he's lying and completely, like, you know, going right over it. Mm -hmm. So you know he's lying. Like, I mean, the mm -hmm. dude's just... That's crazy. I love when people get caught and shit like that. I grabbed a couple things, and I got the clothes on my back, basically. And I'm just... I, I'm, I'm... I'm on the grace of God. They let me out because there were no charges. You know, the, the, it was just dismissed with no charges. But I, I, I hit Zachary. And it was because I was not medicated correctly yet. In the jail, which there's tons of stories, well, not tons of stories, but there's a few things I'd mention about that that I'm not going to go into here because it's just, I think about, I think about the past and I think about what I had. I had this wonderful family. I had, I had this wonderful family that I was caretaking, you know, and that's really what it was. I was going to the store and, and getting stuff and, and, and trying to make this work, you know. And I just feel so horrible that this had to happen in the way it did. And how else does it happen? What does that even mean? Um, are you asking me to say hi, hey to Siggy? Is that how you would pronounce that? S I G G I? Where are you at, Jeans? Neve or Nev? says can you say hey to siggy for me can you yeah siggy siggy hi siggy if if you're asking me if you're not then i'm sorry <laughs> uh just saw it though i didn't want you to think i was ignoring you yeah it's over oh, that God. this had to happen in the way it did and do you remember the man it's show? It's over. James? Do I what? Do you remember the man show? Yeah, I mean, I never watched it much, but I know what you're talking about. That's what it reminded me of is the thing they did at the end where they would, that guy would drink the beer in one gulp and they would say, Ziggy Zoggy, Ziggy Zoggy, oi, oi, oi. Remember huh. that part? I don't think, no, I don't remember that, but I don't, I, like I said, I didn't really watch it. And you're not very smart. I can, I can mm, see. Shut up. That. This had to happen in the way it did. The Knitting Gamer says, um, wasn't the next stream he did from his phone and it had his location on it? I believe so. If it wasn't the next one, it was one of the first few after this. Yeah. Because he, well, he brings that up in the one that I'm going to show. What's that? That he did a stream um, where he was talking to Chris. It's the one where he talks about jerking off in jail and shit to shanny they that he <laughs> that she was thinking of him and he was thinking of her at the same time while he was jerking off in jail you, you know what i'm talking about right yeah yeah um in that but video, his location just, information uh, right well because he rather rather than like videoing himself he just had it screenshotting doing his, uh his from his phone showing the phone screen and when he first you know was going to open shit up it had you know, on his home screen, on his phone, you know, it, ha it has where your location is and the temperature outside and the time. You know what I'm talking about? Like one of those things that it automatically does from where you're at. And yeah, he, yeah, yeah. And he claimed he was, you know, five, six, seven hours away and whatever. Well, then on that, it showed that he was oh. still in Scranton. <laughs> what an idiot. Yeah. Yeah, he he makes an excuse for it on the next on the one I'm going to show you after this. Did and and I just feel so horrible that 
this had to happen in the way it did. And it didn't have to happen. You made it happen. What do you mean you feel horrible that it happened the way it did? Just say you feel horrible that you did something wrong. It didn't have to happen that way. Oh, yeah, dude. They, it's that's over. one thing that like, is um, a constant with them. They refuse to take responsibility. They will say, like, even he's saying, yeah, it happened, but there's always a but. Right. But I was on, uh, it was a reaction from the medication. It was, you know, there's always an excuse. Like, there's change. just no, there, there's no other words that I can say. It's just over forever because me, the asshole that gets mad and then goes into Zachary's room and hits him, what I'm a sack of shit. And now yep. see that I'm medicated because that's the good thing that came out of all this. The really a amazing positive thing that came out of this is that I am now fully medicated and I can see straight. I can see the world straight. I'm not manic. I'm not. But I thought the medication was the fucking reason that you did it. Mm -hmm. but even then what do you mean now that you're out you don't get you don't just keep getting drugs and stuff like from jail the charges are dropped you're not even on probation or anything like they're not gonna like you would have to just get a doctor i don't buy it he's full of shit completely full of shit out of this He's just saying what he thinks. Is that I am here. now fully medicated. Yeah. And I can see straight. I can see the world straight. I'm not manic. I'm not, I'm not like going nuts about one thing or another thing or whatever. Famous last words. Because I'm <laughs> telling you later in the night, he's going to be doing that exact thing. Everything he's saying right now, he's going to be doing it. And I can see straight. I can see the world straight. I'm not manic. I'm not... I'm not like going nuts about one thing or another thing or whatever. I, you know, I, I'm focused and I know where I, I know where I am. I know where I'm going, but the, this, this literally, I just did this. I, I went to the, cause I'm not allowed around there. Uh, I, I got my car and I got in the thing. I got on a highway and started driving and I don't know. So he keeps saying that shit too over and over. Yeah. Like how many times are you going to say that you got in your car and just started driving? Like you said that three times now. I feel like he feels like he has to convince You're you. You're overdoing it. Yeah. Just did this. I, I went to the, cause I'm not allowed around there. Uh, I, I got my car and I got in the thing. I got on a highway and started driving. And I don't know how many, uh, like, hours, five hours, something like that. So I'm probably still in Pennsylvania. Now it's back to five hours. You know, it was five or six, seven hours. Now it's back to five. Now he's saying he still is in Pennsylvania. Earlier he was saying he was not in Pennsylvania. <laughs> like, uh, I, I got my car and I got in the thing. I got on a highway and started driving. And I don't know how many, uh, like, hours, five hours, something like that. So I'm probably still in Pennsylvania. But the point is, is that I want out of here. I'm going to keep driving. And this is the last you're going to hear from me uh, for I don't know how long. Uh, I got to find an out hour. my life. You know, I got to get <laughs> literally like, an hour or two housing assistance and shit because i'm totally fucking broke uh you know but i what i'm what i have my butt in right now i own which is really good so so full of shit i wish shanny the best <laughs> and her two kids are amazing they're amazing i wish her kids. the best and and her two kids are amazing yeah so i wish shanny the best and her two kids are amazing. They're amazing kids. And uh, I, 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 all I could say is that I wish them the best in the future. Um, but revelation news here. Uh, feeling like. Like a liar. I lost my world. <laughs> like I lost my world. And just a complete fucking lie. All right, let me pull up. So. Now I'm going to play you one, and this one's dedicated to me, um, and this is from later that night, and literally, I mean, you're going to be, first he does the one with uh, Chris, but we've heard that one, and let's 
unless you guys want to hear that one again. Have you all heard the one where he um, addresses Chris and talks about jerking off in jail and all that? If anybody wants to watch it, I'm fine with watching it again. But um, the other ones just, uh, it's their short little uh, couple of minute long clips, but he is out of his mind. It's insane. Um, before you start that, um, what? I am really proud of how you have made this channel bigger and better. Like, I know it hasn't been monetized for that long, but, like, every month it's getting more and more. And, like, as we get, like, the metrics for the next month, um, it's just really impressive, and I'm really proud of you. Oh, thanks, babe. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, and I see uh, we will definitely watch Drader's video. Um, and what was the other one somebody asked about? Uh, and Lil's Cow Productions has a new video. So we'll definitely watch those um, in just a little bit, just so you guys know and that I did see what you said. Um, I didn't see that many people asking about the um, one with Chris. Maybe I'll I'll play a little bit of it. I'm just not going to play like the whole thing, but I'll show you guys the uh, part where it shows that he's in Scranton. When you frame it as the video about Rev jerking off, I think it turns most people <laughs> off. All right, folksies, <laughs> this is Rev, and he's in his car somewhere in the world. Where in the world? Right there. Okay, see here in the top right corner where it says scranton wow 76 degrees this yeah idiot so <laughs> not the brightest oh, this is revelation news like a boo da boo ba da ba da ba da boo da da do da do so we're now this is literally just a couple of hours after that one that we just watched <laughs> he is and he's, so he's dumb. already he's already like tweaking we're gonna respond i had to do a response video and here's my good friend, you know, the, the, it's the individual, black rims, black, black rim glasses, in the vegetables. Okay, here we go. Hi, hey guys, Chris. it's been forever since I made a video. Hey. And just some context for any of you that are kind of new to the Shanny stuff. This is Chris, and Chris is Shanny's ex-husband. The man that she was with before she got with Rev, the guy that she was with when she started, um talking to Rev and was having phone sex with Rev. He, you know, Chris apparently cheated on her as well. And so they're not on great terms uh, to this day. Just so you know, that's, you know, he's, he, he came on to make a video to talk about what had just went down with the kids because he was actually in their lives for quite a little while um, and was a stepfather. Um, and this is Rev reacting to that. So you're going to get to see a little bit of both of them. <laughs> so I figured, what better time to do it? Uh, the reason I haven't done a video in so long is because I just haven't really had anything that I wanted to talk about. Fuck. But Okay. Well, that's cool. Well, first of all, you said, you said, Christopher, that... You didn't want your channel to be about Shanny at all, right? You already lied. So you don't have anything to talk about except Shanny for Christ and for Christ's sake, Shanny. What? She's an angel. Uh, I'm just going to just straight up tell you. Because uh, I, I can barely hear your video, dude. You know, I'll buy you a mic, Chris. So <laughs> give me your address, you know, and I'll, when I got some money extra. Because we're going to be fucking millionaires like pretty quick, me and Shannon. And the boys are going to be. See, that age that aged well. Already starting on an insane note. He's out of his mind on something already. But he um, said, uh, Shanny for Christ and for Christ's sake, Shanny. Like, yeah, what I know. Like, what? That? Just talking out of his ass. Um, some idiot, thank you for the super chat. You said, Rev is the type of dude to stand on the sidewalk, and the moment you walk past, he's like, I wasn't going to steal that bike. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. He, uh... <laughs> That's exactly That's a good <laughs> analogy. Thank you, some idiot. Yeah, he's something else. He be really set up is. for life with their own income. Zachary is his voice. Uh, he's been uh, he's been developing his voice, 
and he sounds absolutely incredible and he might be a rapper soon zachary he's 13 years old and he's a prodigy then we have william who is absolutely the most intelligent and and well adjusted uh, uh can go through anything and pick himself up and he's going to cry it out and he's amazing william that's how you describe he's going to go through anything and cry it out and like that's sad it really is that's sad that the, that's what you have to say about him about his qualities that tells me he cries a lot Man. And that's really sad. And that's the older one. The most intelligent and, and well-adjusted uh, uh, can go through anything and pick himself up and he's going to cry it out and he's amazing. William is literally the man of the household in that place that I am no longer a part of. I can't be a part of it anymore. See, because he's saying that because he knows he's the bear right now. Right, right. God. So the trying reason, to convince us. I'll tell Right you the reason the reason is of my own stupidity like you christopher you have to understand christopher that i am you and you are you are me and we are a happy family and we are because I, you're my brother you were my brother i loved you do you understand that chris i know that you may have uh, what the jealousy feelings for no reason oh you, I you know I there's, I, i'm this fucking virgin what is this the did you take the points christopher i think so yeah Virgin here in, in, in like at the time, you know, before, you know, Shani took it. She she took my physical, actual cock in a pussy uh, 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 virginity, okay? Oh, yeah. I forgot and, about that part. <laughs> yeah, that needs, that needs to be clipped. Oh, my God. And I had one before that. Her name was Tara. And, and we did some, you know, we, we fucked around a little bit. But it wasn't, it wasn't sex, man, you know. It wasn't the act. You know, and, and that's what I got with Shani. Tara. You know, that's that. What? He named his torso Tara? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I hope that's not. the first, man. She was my first and only. So you're hitting topics, you know, like, let's get to the topic. It's come to my attention up. that there's some shenanigans going on with certain peoples. Individuals. We all know. Once they know and love. Oh, we know and love. Thank you, Christopher. See, now that's the spirit that I'd like to have, you know. Let's have uh, the Christ consciousness absolutely envelop the entire universe, which, which would kick ass, you know. I, I, I would pray for that. I, I might need to get a little bit of air in here because I might suffocate myself somewhere deep inside, I don't know, southern Pennsylvania. I don't even know where I am. Here he goes lying again. Deep inside, I don't know, <laughs> southern Pennsylvania. Like, he's just throwing some shit out there. He does, I don't know where I'm at. Like, he doesn't think oh, about the lie got, first. No, he doesn't. And it's really bad. Gotta kind of get some accessories. Oh, yeah. Can we get the fan going here? And our country. Sorry. Our stories. No, 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 no. No copyrights on, on commercials. There we go. Okay. We got this going. It's gonna sound like uh, R2D2 world. You know, I'm in my, my, my command center here. This is the Enterprise, folks. Uh, I'm not, I should not run this long though. You know, the, it, with, yeah, I'm gonna run the engine actually. Uh, there we go. Whoa, there she purrs. The most beautiful piece of machinery on the planet. I love this thing. So, all right, we're gonna roll with this. Christopher, you already lied, Chris. The Scranton situation. Response? Yeah, you responded to the Scranton situation. Wow, that's amazing, isn't it, folks? All right, I'm going to check this. Let's see. Yeah, the only thing I can do after I start a recording is keep going. Oh, so that's what I'm shows it again. <laughs> going to do. All right, let's go to Chris. Some of you guys love to hate huh. on these individuals. Um, and I would like to just take a second here. With the very limited information that I have available of me, as I said, I spent a good part of the day listening to the uh, Geek Room's coverage over all this. Um, I'm hoping huh. someone would have something a little more concrete. But it seems a lot of speculation. Um, yeah. The facts as we know is that. Wow. Rev is in jail, which is. Wow. See? See, now that I, I, I wanted to be a total fucking, you know, like, like tear people's hair out right christopher i can't do that like i'm listening you know 
you straight up, you're like, it sounds like a bunch of innuendo. What the fuck? That's like a point. That's points, Chris. Fucking where he belongs, as far as I'm concerned, the punk ass bitch. <laughs> and a child. Like, my God, just, how weak. Yep, yep, yep. He was just talking like he was saying good stuff. Yep. Just wait oh, for Rev's man. reaction. Like, he wants to come me about being a man. At least I don't beat children. Yeah. But, I mean, that's how you get your jollies off, but. Man, you're a big man. Oh, yeah, you showed me how much of a man you are of beating someone that's. Christopher, you're correct. All right, no acting, no bullshit, no fucking bullshit. I, 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 I absolutely feel like the biggest piece of fucking dog shit on the planet, and Jesus Christ put me in jail for thirteen, thirteen, or yes, for thirteen days, Chris. You know the spirit. I, I hope you feel the spirit still. I, I you know, whatever. All right, I know it's irre irrevocable, fucking crazy shit that happens in your life, and then like you fought you. You think you got a brother and shit, and it's it's fucking bullshit, you know. And it's not you. It's 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 the world. It's fucking bullshit, Chris. You know this, Christian. What? Is you're it? Christian. You're, you're a believer in Yeshua, the, the Messiah, and, and you know this is true. You know this stuff is true. I, I, know you're, I know you're a believer. You know. I, I know this. What? What'd you say? I said which Yeshua? Yeshua Hamashiach? What are they? <laughs> I hate when they say that. Um. And I'll tell you, man, I apologize for any, any ought, any ought I had with you, I apologize. But yeah, it's a bunch of innuendo and bullshit. And see, Chris is correct on, on that. Oh, he didn't say it like Shani. <laughs> Induendo. <laughs> In we got to completely correct. We got to do the, uh, yes. Shani. Shani dictionary. Dictionary. Any ought I had with you, I apologize. But yeah, it's a bunch of innuendo and bullshit. And see, Chris is correct on, on that. He's completely correct. But, 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 and I am a sack of shit, Chris. That's accurate. Younger. No. A child, for God's sakes. I mean, pathetic. Absolutely fucking pathetic. And, and, and you, Shami. Like, my God. Like, what is it going to take for you to learn that maybe you should just distance if, if you really cared about your children, which I, I honestly do not believe you do. There's, there, you just like have them around because sometimes there's a convenience, you know. There's, there, there are convenience for you to have them around sometimes, you know. You can use it to bring you sympathy. That, oh, I'm a single mother working. Oh, so hard to raise my oh children. But you don't give a fuck about those kids. <laughs> All right, like now you're a fucking sack of shit that deserves <laughs> fucking whatever. Okay, Chris, Chris, you can't you, like look. I'll probably get banned. Because that type of statement, rewind that shit for yourself and you ask yourself in the fucking spirit of God, Jesus Christ. All right, get prepared, you guys. It's about to get bat shit crazy in a second. So just a fair My warning. Favorite. Like, look, I'll probably get banned because that type of statement, rewind that shit for yourself and you ask yourself in the fucking spirit of God, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, Christopher. Okay, you go look in the fucking mirror and understand what you just said and how that would hurt your fucking woman. Yeah, your woman, she loves you still to this day. Because uh, I'm sure you had a deep enough relationship with you with her, you fucking cocksucker, that you you intimately understood her, and you will use that against her and know that she would be deathly hurt. By the fact that you would say that she doesn't give a fuck about her kids when you know that is not the case. When she, when it came to taking the man that she loves, that's me now, and she put him in jail for 13 days, she felt it. I felt it. I felt the spirit every time I fucking jerked off to her. And she felt me jerking off at the exact time. She said, you were jerking off at 8 p.m. I said, that's absolutely fucking correct, Shannon. Do you see that we're fucking soulmates in the heavens and it's going to tear open? Do you understand that, Christopher, you are... <laughs> oh, that, that is a lot. That's that, a whole nother level. He was jacking off. She was thinking of him when he was jacking off at the same time. You were jerking off at means, 8 p.m. You're and exactly that right, that, Shannon. And that means that their soulmates in the heavens are going to rip open and... Like, what? Let me go back a little ways so we can hear that again. 
and she put him in jail for 13 days. She felt it. I felt it. I felt the spirit every time I fucking jerked off to her. And she felt me jerking off at the exact time. She said, you were jerking off at 8 p.m. I said, that's absolutely fucking correct, Shannon. Do you see that we're fucking soulmates in the heavens and it's going to tear open? Do you understand that, Christopher, you are on the side of fucking Satan? That you are taking this, you are taking counsel from people like uh, Dragnot Silvis. I say the name. I don't give a fuck. I want nothing to do with the man. The contract. He will be sued in the time. Is right. Christopher, mm. you're on the side of fucking Satan by saying that a woman that you lived with for seven fucking six years of your fucking life, you cocksucker, <laughs> you know that this woman is a wonderful fucking mother that loves her kids, you fucking piece of shit. No, Fuck you. No. Don't. I mean, dude said he's gonna shoot y'all up. That right there would have been a legitimate reason to walk away from it. With your head held high, knowing you've done nothing wrong. Um. But no. Instead, instead, you still with this. Now this happens. This happens. I mean, what is it going to take? What is it going to take for you to realize that you're going to fucking lose everything again? And this time, you can't blame me. I mean, you, you, you try. You say, oh, Chris had something to do with it. I know he did. I fucking shit all. I've been too busy up here doing my own shit. I'm yeah, you're sitting there doing your own shit, right? Oh, let's go back to the interview with the with the geek cunts. Let's go back to that fucking bullshit. Right? Hey, Chris. I don't want to have a channel about Shannon at all. You know, I don't know maybe I'll do fucking videos or something, like gaming videos. Uh, you're a fucking liar and a fucking... You just want to badmouth Shannon because it's in. You're a cunt. My own good time, you know? And I was perfectly content not talking about you and not talking <laughs> about this subject yeah but yeah not talking you know you're gonna look at you like look at the views 545 fucking views that's why you did this 449 subs you get that on your own just on your own talent actually i believe you could i love discussing the bible with you yo that was great and 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 and, and talking to you and shanny together and, 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 and we did and, and, never and, and, ever damn. christopher when you were together my hand on the fuck where's my fucking scripture because it's in my car because i live in my car somewhere in bumblefuck pennsylvania and like right. fucking i don't know fucking trees everywhere it's just green I, i'm probably i'm probably gonna oh see God. fucking scripture because yeah, it's in my you gotta car. listen to this part again once again he is the worst liar ever he's like i don't know where i'm somewhere in bumblefuck uh pennsylvania there's i don't know there's green everywhere trees everywhere like there's green and trees everywhere oh yeah like because there's not green trees everywhere in <laughs> every single place in the united states of america like there's green and trees it, oh it must be bumblefuck i i know exactly what he's talking about <laughs> like what stop lying just quit talking about it for the love of god car because i live in my car somewhere in bumblefuck pennsylvania and like fucking I don't know, fucking trees everywhere. It's just green. I, I'm probably, I'm probably gonna see fucking cows and Amish people coming down the road in a fucking carriage. I, I think I'm near there. I don't fucking know. I just been driving in this fucking awesome ride. So that's it. I get the fucking scripture out, Christopher. You, I'm sorry, dude. Oh, knitting gamer, you're correct. Uh oh, I think I accidentally clicked on something. <laughs> don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. All right, I think we're okay. Oh, wait, where did it say? Uh oh, Rowan Page said, I just jumped in and I'm so lost. You're going to have to go back and, <laughs> oh, and watch and a lot. The Knitting Gamer um, said, wait, wait, wait. Did she not say, say that she never picked up the phone whenever he called her Yeah. in, in jail? She did say that. See, and this contradicts that because once again, they lie. Shady lies so, and he lies. They're just so bad at it. If they could, like, get on the same page, think about the lie first, I mean, anything. They're just stupid and they're really bad at lying. <laughs> JJ Thomas said, Bumblefuck isn't in Egypt. That's true. I think the way that that is the way that saying normally goes. That's um, bumfuck. BFE. Uh, Bumble well, fucky. isn't that short for Bumblefuck, probably? 
Oh, I didn't know it was an abbreviation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just assuming. <laughs> Like I wanted this to be, I I was I I'm just trying to be a, a fucking responsible individual with the word of God. Right. You, you fucking, you're ridiculous, man. You're a gossip for the sake of mammon. Oh, here we go. On a woman mammon. that you know, you know, Shanny, and 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 you remember, you remember that fucking time, right? That with me and Phil on the fucking Skype. Oh, I could handle this, guys. I know how she is. Yeah, you do. You were taking care of her too. I give you that. I'd say probably because she's so sick, Christopher. You gonna fucking look at look at you. You look yourself in the goddamn fucking mirror, dude. <laughs> He's you mad can't at look me. yourself in the fucking mirror and say you're a man when this woman. You know how crippled Shani is, and you're talking like this about her. Sh you can't. How can you look in the mirror knowing you kicked a kid in the head? That do you feel like a man? Like the the gall that they have. Like the oh, shit yeah. they will say. It's like. You, of all people, are going to say that? Goddamn fucking yeah. mirror, dude. You can't look yourself in the fucking mirror and say you're a man when this woman, you know how crippled Shani is, and you're talking like this about her. Shame on you, Christopher. Oh, please. For shame. I, I feel that I cannot be silent about this subject because any form of child abuse should be, like, strongly and... Absolutely. And, and, and that Christopher, I want you to know from a Christian to another Christian, if you still are one, did you take a Masonic oath, Christopher? There it is. Did you take the points, the, the, the points of entry? Point of you know, the, the hand signals, all this bullshit, the Masons, your brother, oh, your brother-in-law. Yeah, Shani's brother-in-law. We should, we, I mean, we could go there, man. I know stuff about your brother, Chris. I know that you, that he used... It, 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 it seems to me in a big way he used you get this Chris like I I, I, I like I almost would be I scare I'd be scared for you if if I didn't like at this point think you're a sack of shit I I would I would feel bad at this point but I don't I, I, because I, you're I, lying I, I, about I, I, Shannon the woman that you said you love, were you lying to her every time you looked her in the face for seven fucking years? Hey, Christopher! <laughs> <laughs> With that look on your face. Hey, Christopher! Huh? Seven years? You lied to her every time you said, I love you? Then you're a liar and you're out and you're in hell. What? Passionately wow. shot down wherever it is. You know? I mean, you're supposed to be like, men and women of God. I mean, doesn't scripture teach? This is easy to see now, and I'm going to end it here because he's he's dividing it both. So he's a pretty good man on the mic. If you want to go, he only made it three three minutes and thirteen seconds into the <laughs> video that was nineteen minutes long before he's like, uh, "I'm out." All the way, and I'll listen to the hit. rest of this of myself actually, but I'm done with that. He is dividing the both ends so that you will hate both of us because he's with Dragnaut and he's going to get views. Okay. All right. Let me play you these shorter ones and then we're going to go on to the Drader and Lowell's Cow production stuff. But um, so he was already somewhat unhinged there. You know what I mean? Somewhat. <laughs> but it gets even worse. Can you believe it? It gets even worse. Now, hey, Danielle. by this point, they did know um, that I re released the screenshots. So he comes on to dedicate this to me. Um, <laughs> and he is really, really high at this point. So keep in mind, this is the same man that, you know what four or five six hours earlier was filming that car or filming uh that video in the car looking somewhat normal somewhat with it he didn't do the next thing not one time he wasn't like fidgeting everywhere he, he he was he still talks kind of crazy no matter what but it wasn't too bad he could at least finish his thoughts right well now this is the stage he's in now after being hey, home for a while. hey 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 
you know, fresh out of the slammer, and I'm just, like, completely randomly on the road. And I can't have this on all the time. Oh, and he's going to keep lying as well. <laughs> I'm just really randomly on the road. Like, would you just still stop? Out Scranton. Would you just stop? You're in the fucking driveway, bro. <laughs> like, stop. You know, fresh out of the slammer, and I'm just, like, completely randomly on the road. And I can't have this on all the time. Whoa, I like that light. It's neat. You can still see my face and hear my voice and shit. But I'm in the baby, and, and uh, by, by the grace of God, I got some gas in the tank. And this thing is so... I've got it all the way turned up. Unfortunately, the sound is really, really shite on his end. So, yeah, I apologize for that. Amazing on gas because it's an old engine. V8. Doesn't that... And it purrs, isn't that the like opposite? Right. Older vehicles, especially yes. V8s, would get worse gas mileage? Yes, he's an idiot. This thing is so amazing on gas because it's an old engine. V8. <laughs> like, he's, even purrs, I know that's like not the way that works. <laughs> purrs. My dad loved cars. And I know definitely that if he were alive in my life, this is like a vlog video, got low battery, got to go low power mode. Damn, okay, barely see me. Let's do this for, for the sake, it's very minimal power. Yeah, there we go, that's cool. I don't know how much or whatever proof that you want that I am not at the place that I was. The, the stamps, the GPS information may still be there because I'm on a disconnected device from, from 5G and everything. I just get on Wi-Fi. I'm not on, I'm not on any... Uh, See, he's trying to uh, explain that shit from the video that said he was in Scranton still. But he's saying that he's disconnected. Like... Well, just if you're wait, connected just wait, to Wi-Fi... Just wait and hear the rest of it. It's so, like, it's just ridiculous. He so obvious that through. he's lying. No, he doesn't. Because I'm on a disconnected device from, from 5G and everything, I just get on Wi-Fi. I'm not on, I'm not on any, uh... How you call it? <laughs> That's what my grandfather Davis used to always say. And then it just what ends. Right. So wow. then we gotta wait. We gotta, now I gotta go down here and get the stupid next one because he was high out of his mind and it died. Let's see. Here it is. All right. Now this is part two. Carrie, part two. That's what it's called? My, yeah, my the, grandfather. The first one was called carry part one and <laughs> i don't even know if he mentioned my name in 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 the first one at all he said davis grandpa davis say Maybe that was you. <laughs> so but part two I, I pressed pause shit this is gonna be carry part two so carry you know you had the community uh, up in arms, and rightfully so, over me calling you the C-word, which is unacceptable to do. It's a, it's a slander I would put on the level of the, the T-word and the, the S-word, you know, the, the S-word that ends with T, and it's not slut. And that's what another that? one, don't you? I have never been able to figure that out. The S word that ends that, in T, but isn't slut. That isn't slut. What other word could it be? S slit. S slas. Sn I mean, snot. Ew. Shit. And yeah, um, he somebody asked if he is this where he calls me a cunt. This is one of the times that he calls me a cunt. 
he had called me a cunt already before, and that's he's going to address that in a minute. In I this. thought that too, Sabella, but he said it ends in T. Starts with an S, ends in T, isn't slut. Yeah, it's. He I think he might just be talking about. Yeah, I, think I think he might just be high. I think so. Um, well, I know he's high. I don't know if, if what word he's talking about. Ooh, but... Maybe he was calling you some idiot. What? Starts with an S, ends in a T, not slut. Hmm. Good one. <laughs> I thought it was. All right. The T word and the, the S word, the, you know, S, the, the S word that ends with T and it's not slut. And that's another one don't use. Because women in the night is a, is a legitimate uh, career. So we don't shame that. This is going to be kingdom economy stuff too. And in this video now I'm going to take the opportunity to announce my new beliefs in terms of what should happen on planet Earth. And this is really going to shock some people. And, and if you want to do a reaction video to this, and this is on Carrie, but I'm going to drop this here for somebody like Veckel. And I view. So this is about me still. Still hasn't addressed anything except for my name. Hasn't said what this has to do with any of it. Now he's bringing <laughs> some other shit into it. And he's going to make some announcement here some people and and if you want to do a reaction video to this and this is on carrie but i'm going to drop this here for somebody like veckel and i view you as a brother i love you i i know that you you believe one way but gee man you know he's gonna he's gonna make it understood you know i can shut these off uh off there we go you always got to be mindful of your your battery usage and it's always good to do you know what i mean so, I am announcing in this video that I now am an anarcho-communist oh <laughs> in the earthly economy. Uh, what? What is what is that even? Let's see. That I now am an anarcho-communist. An anarcho-communist? What does that even mean? So, um, where did where did he see it or read it and decide to jump on it? Because you know he didn't come up with that like organically. It's a belief that hierarchies, money, and social classes should not exist, and that the means of oh. production should be held in common by society. Of course. of course he thinks that. Of course he does. Gaha, it makes sense now. In the earthly economy and pol political, the governmental, political, and financial system that should govern at a baseline for the world. Right. This is going to shock no matter what you do, a lot no matter of what my you Christian in, brethren. Everyone should get the same amount out. Right. Mm -hmm. So him doing nothing should get the same as the people who work hard. Everyone should have the same amount no matter right. what. He definitely did not see things this way when he still had money. No, when they hell had, no. when they had hell. money they didn't they their political view was a lot different with that and there's videos and streams oh, yeah. to prove it like where I they mean, straight up say shit like that so right like it took you can't you know, get a job in a 8 months right once they ended up broke and in the, in this kind of situation now all of a sudden all their views on all that has drastically changed yeah it really has I want you to understand that this in no means means that I have left Jesus Christ. This is not the case. Jesus Christ is who kept me alive in the jail. And I have testimony of that from, from a brother that's a fellow Christian up there and he went, wow, this is Jonathan Kleck level, wow, miracle stuff that happens with the body of Christ. And I'm sorry if it's overmodulated. I just want to be heard. Turn down your turn your stuff down. But does the purr of the I gotta show you. Oh god, watch him, man. 
Look at him. Uh. Now you tell me that motherfucker ain't high as a kite. What do you think it is? I think it's a mixture, but I think that it's pills. That's what I think. Ron. I think they do pills personally, and then maybe some. That's, I, pills are so expensive. True. I don't know. I mean, I don't. I don't see it being heroin. I mean, maybe I guess maybe they could smoke it or something. I don't. I think we would see more signs of something like that, but. I just think that they, you know, probably pop cheap pills, stuff like, I wouldn't be surprised if they, it, like, riddle in or shit like that, you know what I mean? And she takes Benadryl, too, all the time with her meds, so she's already on hers. Um, and Somebody uh, brought up an we, interesting we idea. thought before that maybe that they spl- they share pills, when, and I believe yeah. that they do when he gets them. I don't think she shares hers with him, though. I don't think she even shares the Benadryl with him because of the way that they've she's given it to him before. Like it's a big deal. Like when she gives him some of her stuff, and um, when it comes to her, like she won't even share Taco Bell with him. You know, she's not sharing her <laughs> fucking medicine. Somebody brought it up an interesting idea that one of the kids, um, I guess the one that's autistic, may have been on like an ADD medicine or something like that. Oh, and maybe they were taking theirs. That's highly. I would say that's highly possible just from the way that they act. And, you, you know, there to me, there's definitely, I, I don't think it's stuff that they do necessarily every day either. Right. But, and that's you know, sick sometimes, but yeah, sometimes they're higher than others. Like that stream where she's sucking on the candy cane and it's Christmas. See, I, I think that they were definitely on some kind of speed there because, both of them were, I mean, the way that they were talking and acting, it was insane. You know which yeah. one I'm talking about. That's yeah, the yeah. one That's the one where he talks about fighting Jared Leto. <laughs> yeah. And look, he's doing the Jared. neck thing. He did not that do that. At, he did not do that at all when he did that first video after getting out of jail. Yeah. And this is just later that night. Now he's doing it. Turn down your, turn your stuff down. But this the purr of the. I gotta show you. You know, I just thought of it. I got like video editor on this. I could just paste this together. But I don't know what proof you need, folks, that I'm not there. Okay, negative evidence, whatever. Oh, reckoning you basis. Somebody, you know, it's nuts. I think they might have got the S word ends in a T. Satanist. Oh, Satanist. Could be. Interesting. A- anything is possible. <laughs> Anybody comes near that property. Do you know that you guys have caused so much shit that that property, the one I used to be at, that my love is, is she, she's protected by the police. Shani currently has police protection at the address. Lies. All lies. Which you know he was saying that to try to scare people into not driving by there and shit. Because there's he, they know that they there's people that live in that area that know where they live. Oh yeah, for sure. And so it's like, oh yeah, she's got police protection. They're, he was just really trying to make it so people wouldn't be coming around there and possibly seeing him coming in and out or anything like that. Yep. <laughs> Which I don't think, you know, like I have to say, I don't think that it's cool or like, okay for people to do that either. You know what I mean? Like be going by their house and stuff. It's like, eh, that's taking it too far. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but they, they lie so much and people, you know, want to expose that they lie and and a huge lie that they were telling at this time period is that he's not there when he clearly is. So <clears throat> I think he's just trying to uh, once again he lies 
and thinks that he's like convincing people when really it's just making it really obvious that he's desperately trying to uh come up with a story and the one i used to be at be that my love is is yeah. she, she, she's protected by the police Shani currently has police protection at the address. Like, what does he think? That you can just go, police, I need you to protect my house. Like, they don't just do that. What, like, don't, like, if you wanted some kind of security or, like, protection, don't you have to pay for that? For, like, it's not just something that the cops come and do. Because you could have a st stalkers around or something like that. Even if you actually might have stalkers, which they didn't. No, so, I mean, you don't, like, the police, you don't pay extra to get some sort of extra attention. They don't do that. Um, the most I've ever heard of is that they might, like, say that a car will come around, you know, every few hours. Um, yeah. Like, if, they, if there is, like, a, a legitimate threat. But you're kind of, I mean, you have to pay for your own extra security. The cops don't just stop doing what they're doing. Right. For that's the community what I mean. for yeah. your ass. Right. That's what I mean. I highly suggest you don't go there. Uh, she's protected by the police. Shani currently has trips? police protection at the address. I highly suggest you don't go there. I'm not there, and I never can be. I will go back to the clink immediately if I ever went there. I have learned... Interesting that he can say all that knowing he's there but once again that's why he's saying it like if he really wasn't there he wouldn't feel the need to keep saying that over and over again right, right. like it's so obvious learn because you don't go there i'm not there and i never can be i will go back to the clink immediately if i ever went there I have learned because I walked uh, to the convenient. I had a couple bucks. I got, I got like. A oh, oh, oh! When you watch this, listen to this story because this is another one that proves that he's lying. Because he says in a minute that he walked to the convenience store for something. Why would you, if you're living right. in your car, why would you walk anywhere if you were what living out of your car? Does that make? It does not. Right. It doesn't make. To the clink immediately if I ever went there. I have learned because I walked uh, to the convenient. I had a couple bucks. I got I got like a cigarette, the the fucking black and mild cigar. And I say got a pack of matches. I got a pack of matches. I didn't need that though. I got the car. I got the I got the cigarette lighter in the car that works and everything works in this beautiful thing. It's fucking amazing. And I own it. It's mine. I love it. It's so beautiful. And and look at his eyes. They're really like puffy, I know. puffy, and like. Droopy. I could I could sleep in here easy. That's that's it. And why would you say that? I could sleep in here easy. Right. You could. You are. What do you mean you could? This is your first night there doing it. What are you talking about? I'm telling you, they are just not smart enough to pull off the shit. No, it's bad. Fucking amazing. And I own it. It's mine. I love it. It's so beautiful. And. I could I could sleep in here easy. That's that's it. Cause the sleep, when you have schizo effective with with on top, I have schizo. I have. <laughs> I don't think I have to do that. I'm just gonna have this proper. Okay, like CSI. You know, I gotta sit up in my seat. <laughs> Los Cow Productions. Thank you for the super chat. You said I saw my way clear to give a couple of bucks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be playing your new uh, video right after this, um, uh, and I'm excited. I haven't seen it yet, so thank you, Los Cow Productions. Let's let's do this a tilt upward, folks. That's at ease, soldier. Yeah, that's that's better. I'm not a midget. It's just this seat is luxurious. <laughs> not this is midget. what you call a gentleman's car. That's just the way it is. <laughs> what did you say the so, other night? <laughs> when she had that uh that I said, thing on her community tab I said, like, oh, is it a, 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 a <laughs> yeah. if you say it super slow it takes all the bite out of it 
Uh, is she uh, a man? Just, I just try to. I just never want to offend people, you know? You got to trail off at the end, too. Is she a <laughs> man? And now we actually are making a joke out of it, so we should probably stop. Well, it was funny. <laughs> you make jokes out of funny yeah, stuff. Yeah, one more light. I was just going to look. I know. Uh, this, this button sticks a bit. There we go. Even a little better. Okay. So. Sorry, Mandy. What? The GPS and the stamp. She's yelling at you? I think so. Uh, some uh -oh. stuff, the metadata might still be where I was at because I, I, I have my method. Oh, yeah. Listen, to, now he's trying to explain that the uh, stamp or whatever, the location stamp. The GPS and the stamps and stuff, the metadata might still be where I was at because I, I, I have my... Oh, method. Kamal, talk about the stuff Just they had in Afghanistan called Crocodile. It was a drug that the locals used. Um, did I ever tell you about the time that our ve we parked our vehicle? It was super dark. Um, we were just finding a spot in the park for the night. Um, and then the next morning when the sun came up, we had parked. We were about 15 feet in front of this huge stand of marijuana plants. Did I tell you about that? Mm -mm. Um, and I mean, they had poppy fields. It looked like what you would see here, like when they have like the corn fields or cotton fields and stuff. Yeah. It was just poppy for, I mean, acres and acres. Wow. Yeah. But yeah, I remember, I know what you're talking about, Kamal. The GPS and the stamps and stuff, the metadata might still be where I was at because I, I, I have my methods. Because he has his methods? His methods. Because he's and so what tech would savvy. That, and what would that be? Like, what? why would you keep it there if you weren't there? Like, what would purpose would that serve? Right. It's he's trying stupid. to throw people off. Just say that. But I'm not there. Uh, I think, and yeah, I was walking. I, I got I got the thing that said that I asked at the counter at at the at the. Uh, it was like a Valero, I think. I walked there from where I parked the car. Why? Why would you walk from where you parked the car to go to the store when you're living out of your car? Like you can just tell this this story that he's just like coming up with this as he goes. And it doesn't make any sense. Are you there? Yeah. yeah. No. I got the thing that said that I asked at the counter at, at the, at the, uh, it Sorry, was like I got a, a visitor. No, Valero, I think. I walked there from where I parked the car. And I asked the guy, could you tell me what city I'm in? He's like, well, you're, you're, you're close to Lancaster. I'm like, wow, I thought that. He's like, yeah, you must have good sense of compass. I'm like, no, I'm, <laughs> He just went, well, okay. What was that? Oh, my God. Uh, every time. Good sense of compass. Every ah! time. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Blow my eardrums out. Every time, every time I see this, it cracks me up. Do you every know who he sounded time. like? Oh, my God. You're not going to remember this reference. Do you remember that show Perfect Strangers with uh, yeah. Balky Bartakamus? Yeah. How he used to laugh. Do you remember that? Here we go. Vaguely. <laughs> yeah, That's it's weird. Like. And then he does an even weirder one in a second. So it gets even worse. I'm like, wow. I walked there from where I parked the car. And I asked the guy, could you tell me what city I'm in? And he's like, well, you're, you're, you're close to Lancaster. I'm like, wow, I thought that. He's like, yeah, you must have good sense of compass. I'm like, no, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> he just went well okay brother he could tell i was a christian yeah i i kind of i could pull yes, off it was the bronson pincho he played balky right. bartakamus from meepos get ready because this next one you got to listen to this uh oh <laughs> <laughs> he just went well okay brother he could tell i was a christian yeah i i kind of i could pull off the amish thing with this a little bit and this and this and and then I got John Grishala saying, yeah, you could be a yid. <laughs> That's oh, horrible to say. Fuck. Pull off the Amish thing with this little. <laughs> what I is don't... that?
This dude uh, cannot like, stay uh, on top. He screamed. And this and this and... And then I got John Grishala saying, yeah, you could be a yid. <laughs> I don't even know how he does that. Oh, like, my God. But isn't that a... Isn't that a isn't I mean, that a I can't slur? even do it. What? Yid. Isn't that a slur for a Jewish person? I don't person? know. I don't know which one that is. Hold on. I'm not sure. Yep. It is an offensive word for a Jewish person. Oh, wow. I didn't even know that. I apologize. I hope that was... I didn't know. <laughs> I won't play it again, then. No, no, I mean... That's horrible. No, I just mean I won't keep replaying the word, because... Yeah, but... Yeah, his laugh there is... <laughs> it's just... My God. Short for Yiddish, Nina says. Okay. To say, you know, like, why would you... It's a pejorative weirdness, you know? And we've made it, we're going to do this whole video. This is Carrie part two. He still has not still talked about me yet. not met, talking about you. Wow. And we only have 40 something seconds left. Wow. Um, is there going to um, be a part three till he gets to you? Nope. This is the last part. Just wait. <laughs> really no need for it. But back to the subject, which is Carrie. Hey, Carrie, you know, I called you out, didn't I? Because I knew it lights go out because you know hey Gary you know yeah man <laughs> I knew you were that <gasps> <laughs> see I knew you were that and and you didn't like that I saw it and you're like oh how dare you I called you out see Shani does the same thing and that's why everybody hates Shani including you <laughs> because you were exposed to be the C U N T that you actually are. Goodbye. So he started the last video, or was it this video, saying that he called me a cunt and that that was wrong. Yeah. And the community was in in the he, community an uproar, was up in arms, rightfully so. Or, right. Only to then come call down you a cunt. at the end and call me a cunt again. But and this dude says Shani does the same thing and that's why people hate her. I think they believe that. Like, they think that people don't like them because of the good they do or because of, they're calling people out on, on their shit. Like, they're so far off. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. All right. So next, I'm going to pull up um, Lowell's Cow Productions. They have a new song up. Here we go. I'm going to drop the link in the chat. Make sure you guys go and subscribe. And I have not seen this yet. You have not either, have you, babe? So uh, this is going to be... So. This is going to be our first uh, live reaction to um, this song. Oh, it's new so, today? An hour ago. Wow. Just came out. And it's called Outside My Damn Mind. <laughs> Dude, I think he could Give do a round of applause. Really talented. Yeah, that was great. That was really, really good. I always like what he does, though. There, there's never been one that I have not liked. But and you know what? That one actually really showed um, and complimented your voice. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because you have a really great singing voice too. I mean, you you can do rev spot on. But you can sing really, really well. So, good stuff. Good, good stuff. Um, let me drop the link one more time in the chat. So that everybody, if you have not subscribed to Lil's Cal Productions, that's the video that we just watched by them. Go to their channel. Subscribe. Check out their videos um, and parodies. And give them some love. They're super talented. All right. Going from one talented person to another. This is Drader. Um, 
Let me grab the link for him. He has some new videos that he put out today. And um, is it raining? We... It might be. I know. I know the weather's supposed to get bad. I think. I was going nuts. Yeah, it's probably rain. It's probably raining. Um. <laughs> Sorry, I said Shani just went live on the street corner. <laughs> um. So. I I have talked to Drayden before. He is okay and is fine with me sharing and watching his videos on here. Just so everybody knows, I wouldn't just like go and steal his content or anything. That um. So we're gonna jump right into these. I have not seen these yet, so this is gonna be my first time watching them as well. Oh, let's see. This one's called the Warts Confrontation. <laughs> Tell us about the Warts. Lisa <laughs> sent me. Who's Lisa? You know who Lisa is. The one who you're rubbing the pizza in her face, the Taco Bell. Look at us. We still have fans. Look, we don't need you. We got pizza. Look, Lisa. Oh. That Lisa. Maybe you guys sent pizza to my house just to set me up, just to go and have that narrative. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So tell us I about know. every time I I gotta go back every time I hear that part it cracks me the fuck up when he's like yeah <laughs> you guys sent pizza to my house just to set me up just to go and have that narrative yeah <laughs> yeah so tell us I about know. tell us a, can you just tell us all about the warts I need to know is he traitor. Can we oh, Aaron, thank you so much for the super sticker. That is very sweet of you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. He's traitor. Hey, can will you tell us about the warts? Uh-oh, here we go. You know what I could do? I could call the cops and tell them you're harassing me on my phone. Yeah, go right ahead. Call, hey, go ahead and call the cops. I can make would, some phone you, calls too, you know. What phone calls are you going to make? Exactly. You're sitting here talking to me for what now? Five minutes now, and I I'm harassing you. Yeah, I'm curious why. Will you're you fucking please talking to shut me? your fat face and tell us about the warts? It's all we want to know. Please break it down. Why do you What's pick at them? You? Why do you pick your you warts? Therapy. We can see the you scab therapy. warts. You need therapy. You pick dude. your warts. It's gross. And you need do you know therapy. how deep? Do you know how deep doing. you have to dig in order to get rid of a fucking wart? You gotta get down to the roots. Much therapy. What is wrong with him? You're covered in warts. Wow. One. Are you possessed? <laughs> you know when Jason Jennifer? had that money? Why didn't you get those warts removed? We why all want to know. Talking like this. I like because yeah. we just want to know about the warts. Tell us we, about the we, warts. Are you legion? Are you the demon legion? <laughs> tell us about the warts. <laughs> are you? Are you? Tell, the us, tell us when did when did they start appearing? Tell us. Uh, where, did you, you have board? warts when you are were you a model? <laughs> imagine. Am I supposed? I could to just assimilate? imagine that seeing you going down the runway with all those warts all over your face. This guy calls. I'm pretty sure it's Drader because I, I did pull up one of his videos once and his voice, he's, God, he sounds so psychotic. He sounds so crazy. Like, he needs some help, so pray for the dude. Uh, but, yeah, we got this call and it's, it's tell us about the warts, Shani. Tell us about the warts. We need to know about the warts. Why didn't you get the warts removed when Rev had money? Uh... And then going into, why don't you get off of your fat ass and get a job? We all know that you can walk. We have video proof of you walking. He's like, he's like, warts, warts, warts. I'm like, yeah, what if I like them? What if I think they're cute, you fucking asshole? Sorry. He, I know, baby. Seriously. It's like, yeah, why do we remove them? Like, how about I think they're cute? And how about like, I don't need to remove anything and they're not warts? No. That's what... How about you mind your own business? If you're so bothered by how I look, 
How about not watch me? <laughs> oh god, I wasn't expecting uh, that. Uh, Woo! Uh, All right, so then we got this one's Shanny for Christ Taco Bell. Yeah. I need an actual meal. Could you eat an entire meal in front of the person you claim to love while there's no food in the house and they're starving? Keep in mind. Absolutely. Sh I shut can, up. You know, heartbeat. Shut up. Shani already had an entire Taco Bell meal to herself earlier. Oops. I'm really hungry. I, are you? I. Look, you had that Taco Bell and you're so lucky because I. <laughs> I was like, you want Not some? Yet, you were wonderful and you offered me, but it's yours. Period. Wow. You earned that. You went on there. It's almost nice enough. That's yours. Oh. I would devour a big giant taco box. Mm hmm Oh. Mm-hmm. You'd be sharing that. Okay. Later. Well, I can barely move because I, I don't even have any food in me, any kind of food in me. I know. But I don't want you dehydrated. You could die from that. Anyway. No, you're not. If you really cared, though, you would have just shared the food with him. Don't claim that you care. And he's your and, soul mate, and and push all this. You you're not drinking enough fluids, and you're not like you're worried about him when you had the opportunity to share some food with him and help him get a little bit of something at least, and you didn't share anything at all. Yeah. And we've seen several times now that that never works that way if it's something that somebody bought just for him or it's something that's his he always has to share it if not give her the whole fucking thing <laughs> yeah. but i don't want you dehydrated you could die from that anyway no you're not no you're not there's people who love you baby I'd feel horrible if I didn't have you in my life. Who? No, I'm not. If your spouse is sick, puking and diarrhea, and then they start saying shit like this, like they're thinking about hurting themselves, maybe, wouldn't you turn the stream off and go and be there for your spouse? Wait. Not if it's going to get attention or maybe a donation. Well, that's the thing. It's almost like either they are some of the most fucked up toxic people ever, or this is an act and, and they that this isn't even fucking true. And they just do it to get views. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think that that's definitely a possibility. Um, I mean, Rev was kind of pouring it on kind of thick, but you never know with these idiots. It's... Oh my god. No, I have no one, Jason. I wouldn't get anyone. Because yeah, there's no one as special as you. You're my love. Yes, you are, and I love you. Jason's afraid to eat the food. If Shady's belly isn't full at all, she'll make life a living hell. It's easier to just to starve. Mm -mm -mm. Pure evil. Look in her eyes. Whoa. <laughs> Holy shit. That 
is terrifying. I was not prepared for that. <laughs> oh my god. That's this gonna movie, haunt my dreams. He needs to be in like horror movie yeah. voiceover. Yes. That was that I was not expecting that. <clears throat> okay, now that I peed my pants, scared the <laughs> life out of me. Uh, <laughs> shit. Let's go on to the next one. If I can handle Every... it. I'm, now I'm worried. Like, Drader has straight up jump scares in his stream. Yeah. <laughs> like, and he gets me a lot of the times so when he pops up with a ah! Like, <laughs> I'm like, mm-hmm. oh my God. Mm-hmm. All right. This is called The Walking Bed. Oh, I love it already. Instead of The Walking Dead. Ba-dum-bum-bum. Oh, did you need to explain that one to me? Did yes. You, mm-hmm. you felt like I didn't didn't understand that? Well, <laughs> stuff goes over my head so much that when it doesn't, I have to capitalize on it and make sure that it's not that you don't know it. I just want you to know that I know it. <laughs> <laughs> I just I assume you don't though. I just I err on the side of you on uh, err on the side of you being dumb. And that's why I'm proving it. I appreciate that. No, you don't. <laughs> yeah, we're out of everything. I am scared. Oh God. This seriously is one of the, like, this doesn't, this seems like, wait, a mixture of, like, something out of a scary movie, but then just, like, almost what it would be like to live, like, constantly, like, at war or something. Like, that's too dramatic. Um, Maybe not war. But, like, their life is just, like... It's so pathetic. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's... Look at him. Yeah. And he's having to beg, and, like, it's just sad. Oh, the dude is dejected. I mean, he has... he. I mean, he is done. But the crazy thing is, this is how they are when they have nothing and want money. As soon as they get money, Taco Bell, food, pizza, whatever, they're happy-go-lucky, everything's right with the world, and... I knew we were making the right decision. We're beggars, and that is what's working for us. I knew we were doing the right thing. Like, they change on a dime. Yeah. That's nuts. Yeah. Oh, come on. You don't know about the cookies? You got to go back and watch the cookie fight. That's a good one. Yeah, I like it. We, we like Domino's. Come on. Come on. Hasn't seen the cookie fight? He said, please, somebody tell me about the cookies. Oh, that that's, is a good one. You're going to have to watch it because that's a wild one, too. Kind of, you know, has some similar vibes to this one, but longer. That's, it's their life. I mean, that like their life is a cookie fight. It is. Pretty much. She's the cookie monster. (laughs) Yeah. Is it playing? Yeah. Can't even, I, I wouldn't have known until he blinked. I, I literally wouldn't have known. Somebody's going to message you on Twitter for a pizza. This is what he would do, like, during this time period on Twitch. She would make him, I, I'm assuming, making him get on. And uh, he would just sit and, like, stare at the camera for a while. Like, like this. And just I think that's calculated. 
don't you? That he's it's doing bizarre. it. Yeah, it's bizarre. It does feel like a hostage video or something. But I think it's calculated. I think they know that he is the more sympathetic. I think they're both um, pieces of shit. But some people still get, have hope for Rev or see him yeah. as some sort of the victim or sympathetic, whatever. Um, and so I think that's that this true. is a calculation. They think he is more likely to get views. Shani just brings, you know, people just hate her. Um, so he has the chance of getting the donations. So he's the one that does it. And that, I mean, I think that's really what they have that conversation. Yeah. Wow. You might be right. I need your help. You need my help to do that too? Oh, she said, see, she said I can't move. He's getting pissy already because she made him get on here and do this. Now she's making him send the email or whatever the fuck she's asking him to do. Alright, we got messages open. No, it wasn't the first, it was the second. pushback nope dude is that his stomach growling do you hear that noise that keeps happening it could just be the way like that he's holding the phone and it's pressing on something but like listen right there it was like I heard it. I, I don't know. Smelling his finger again. And what do you think that's like? Shani's fine. She's right here. Oh, she is not fine. Oh, damn, Kathleen. They got that out of you? They are good. They are good at scamming people. The only thing that I think, though, is that people like Kathleen probably now know their mistake. Oh, yeah. I feel you. I didn't give it money, but, I mean, I did feel bad for her. So, I get how that happens. Um, aluminum Brain, this was not from today. This is um, on Dra This is from Drader's. I don't know. Yeah, this is from December 1st. Um, I guess this is just 
to show a couple of things like about her walking and stuff like i'm not exactly sure if there's going to be if it, this is just this or what but yeah this is from a couple of months ago but well, it's, the it's a good one to watch. Is today right? this is Drader's. right but Drader put it out today right that's what i just said well i think maybe that's what they were asking oh well i'm just making sure that they know that it it's not Rev and Shanny today. Right. The happenings didn't happen in the video today, but the video, like, Drader put it out today. Right. Right. Um, some idiot. Thank you for the super chat. You said Shanny being quiet is when you need to worry. Very true. Damn. Yeah. The calm before the storm. Yep. We're about to see that. Thanks for the prayers. Oh, God. She's back there. Oh, oh. I'm in so much pain, Jason. I feel you, Kamal. I mean, I know. I guess. I don't. I don't know what it is. Like, why the difference is me. Um, I can see why people feel sorry for them. I mean, I can see if you believed it, how it could be. You know, they can be sympathetic figures. Um, I just can't. You know what I mean? Like, I just. I guess I can only see it as a lie now. But I know what you mean, and I know that there's been a lot of good people who have been victim to that shannon huddleson thank you so much for the super chat i really appreciate that come on such a good dude <laughs> yeah he is we have a lot of good dudes around here that's true mm -hmm. and chicks good dudes good chicks nice people and eh, chicks maybe not but dudes definitely <laughs> you're so <laughs> juvenile <laughs> you're like Girls stink. Girls suck. Uh, Boys drool. Girls drool. Both drool? Do what? What did you say? Girls drool. Boys drool? No. Uh oh. <laughs> he really is smelling his fingers. It's so weird. I don't want to know where they've been. And he's picking it. Dude, you know that mustache has got to just stink. Yeah, and he's starting to get real fed up at this point. Yeah. Because you know the chat's just letting him have it. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's been in his me. ass, Timo, but it's been in... And ass. If you want to help out, um, Shanny's PayPal is at Shanny Needs Love, and my PayPal is at Rev Dude. If you want to help. No thanks. <laughs> oh, she's back there whining. He's thinking. What the fuck have I done with my life? I'm with this bitch. I ain't I never know. slept with anyone else. I had money. It's gone now. And I have nothing to show for any of it. And I'm stuck with this bitch. Uh-oh. Do, do you have Shani on Facebook, Gene? Hmm. Mm. <laughs> Eileen says Shani's been begging on Facebook with posts. I don't have her on Facebook. She's got me blocked on there, I think. Can you get on mine? Um, I don't know if I would be able to. Do you know your password and stuff? You made it. I don't know that I've ever. Um, it's been a while. Uh, well, somebody will probably can probably send it to me if it's something that's. Yeah, Sabella will send it to me if it's something important to check out. Sabella to the rescue. Hmm. It's pics of her and pizza with the cash app details. So is she lying about the burgers and fries then? I would say no. I bet that, but I I would say that the thing you brought up the other day about if the uncle is giving them money, maybe they're just saying, you know, 
people because I think that that is such I, this is such a good point that I never thought of to get donations. Um, people are more willing to if you're already getting them. Do you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. if someone sees they're already getting donations, but if they're not getting any, then someone's going to think, why aren't they? And they'll right. do some research. So if they yeah. think, oh, they're getting burgers every day. Well, shit. I mean, they, there's something must be OK with, you know, about these idiots. Um, so I think that that is probably it. Like the uncle was just giving them some money or they got food stamps a day earlier or something like that. Um, so that they're just trying to get the donations rolling in. Mm. Do you see the post in Discord? Um, No, but I'll pull it up. I'm going to let this play. She said it says for the people asking like anyone's asking for their shit. Here, let me see. It's not April Fool's Day here yet, Wicked Witch. We got another hour. Oh, the jeans will be having a hell of a day tomorrow. All right. You won't know what to believe tomorrow, will you? What? On April Fool's Day. Oh, God. Let's see. Am I sharing the right thing? Yeah, here we go. <clears throat> this is what she posted, y'all. For the people asking, my cash app is... And she puts her cash app and her PayPal. She's holding all little Gab and Key Cats. And, um, yeah. <laughs> All right, let me pull this back up. Um, yeah, I actually maybe we should do that tonight. Um, do with one of the Discord chat things right after the stream. You in here? Um, yeah. What time is it? Oh, it's already eleven o'clock though. It might be kind of late, huh? I That's might, all. All I'll I was gonna say is that I might not be it. able to just because I'm. Yeah, I was gonna say I'll probably wait and do it. Um, maybe the next time, next go around and start do it on a night where I start a little bit earlier in the night. Yeah, yeah, that's a good call. I'm off Sunday. Maybe we do like an early something and do it after. The dude's just, he's, I, until his eyes moved, I thought it was paused again. <laughs> I'm not forcing him to do anything. Uh oh. Mm-hmm. I have a gaffin on me. I did not want to come on here. Uh oh. You said give me your phone. I did not want to come on here, Shane. You know what, Jason? Are you doing this stuff on purpose just to make me look bad that I'm forcing you to do stuff? No. I'm telling the truth that I did not want to come on here. Then don't ask for my phone. It <laughs> make me look like I'm doing something toward you. Ask for your phone. I didn't. He said, you lie, bitch. I didn't ask for your phone. Like, people think I force you to do stuff against that, your will. I don't. That sound is like. What is that? He's rubbing the phone against like a blanket. 
But that's an ASMR from hell. I know. Oh, and listen to her. She gets up. Listen to how fast she walks, you guys. Because mm -hmm. you can hear every footstep. And she doesn't make any noises when she's getting up here either. She ow, just gets ow, up ow, and starts ow, walking. Ow, ow. And she's stomping and shit. Sure, walking and talking you without pants. Anything. I forgot how nasty she yeah. gets. As soon as it's put on her, all she pulls out all the stops. I hate people like that. Yeah. I mean, they like she is so nice. They are soulmates. She's he's the love of her life. All that shit. As soon as they are in the a fight over anything, everything's out the window, and everything that he might be insecure about is fair game. That is a dangerous person. Yeah. It really is. Like, can you imagine? Can you imagine if we were that way? Like, it, 17 years, all the things that we know about each other, you could easily, like, in, a, in probably about five words, pick the other one apart and, like, have them questioning everything. Yeah. Like, the more you get to know somebody, the more ammo, the more, like, of their insecurities, the more everything that you know about them. And, like, if you're only going to use that against them in a fight, like, I don't know, man. That just seems so sick to me. Yeah. She's pretty sick. If anybody wants those five words about jeans, uh, text me afterwards. Except for, you know, bring 750 grand into the <laughs> right. relationship. She, but she he didn't do that. anything for her. Right. Well, she I'm forgets sick. that oh, quick. I do every goddamn thing I fucking can. Wait, let me go back. <laughs> Fuck, you do anything, though. Why is her voice so high pitched? She's trying to sound like she's crying, but she's not crying. <laughs> she's just pissed. He doesn't do shit for me. Mm hmm. Can't get a job. Well, I'm always working my ass off. Oh, Kathleen, thank you so much for the super sticker. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Oh, it's a, you know what? I thought about that too. Like, Tima brings up a good point. Um, and one thing I was thinking, do you know the, like, when you invest in something, you don't realize the losses until you, like, so if you invest in a stock and it goes down in value, you haven't actually lost that money until you pull your money out. Like, if you leave it in there and wait, the stock might go up. Like, do you think that's kind of how Rev feels? 
Like he's already invested seven hundred thousand dollars. If he leaves Shanny now, he's lost that seven hundred thousand. But if he stays in the relationship, then maybe the value of this relationship goes back up, and he can recoup some of those losses. Right. Well, and you know what I mean. Well, and he's, you know, he would have be not only he's not only out that money but now he doesn't have that to go into another relationship with so the chances of you know (laughs) finding a lot of like anybody outside of her would be much harder for him this go around because you know sunk cost fallacy yes Uh, Ellen Sackett said it what's that it's called the sunk cost fallacy Mm. You could at least tell them I'm not forcing you to do this. She's not forcing me. You could at least tell them that. She's not forcing me to do this. <laughs> Instead of making it seem that I'm doing that Real believable there. Damn. This, oh, She's not shit. making me do it. Like, okay. Sure, Rev. You could at least tell them that. She's not forcing me to do this. Instead of making it seem that I'm doing something against your will. It's very clear to everybody that I don't want to be on. Well, good. (laughs) But why does it have to be on my fucking back? Why do I have to look like I'm shit? When I didn't even do anything. I didn't fucking do anything. face like just <laughs> no. look at his face he he's like he's, he's a is, broken man he's like is this bitch for real gonna be on well good <laughs> but why does it have to be on my fucking back why do i have to look like i'm shit when i didn't even do anything i didn't fucking do anything <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, man. No. Do you not see the audience where they're saying that I'm forcing you to do stuff against no. your will? No. I didn't notice that. I'm so sick of hearing that. It's like all the responsibility is on me, and it's like poor fucking Jason, and I'm the one who's got. All that I do. I'm the one who can't fucking even barely fucking sleep or breathe half the fucking time. But no, it's all on my goddamn back. Every goddamn thing. I'm the Why only you just one that goes. There and stare? I'm the only one that goes out there and does anything. What the hell Why are you, you talking just about? Sit there and stare, Jason. The only reason that you just sit there and stare. Like. Man. Wow, she's such a bitch. Really? Ain't, like, he's got to be on there doing this shit, and then she's going to belittle him. Oh, my God. Like, and this is, you know, his parents raising his mom, spoiling him like that. And then the situation with, with Shani, like, it, it's, oh, my God. I can't. I can't. <laughs> it's crazy. He's just such a coward. That's and that's why he did something like get in a fight with her and go and take it out on the kid. Like he cannot stand up to her. Like he's looking at her. Like I'm honestly, him saying what he says in this is more than he, you know, normally does at all. Like we should more standing up to her, right? Um, But even here, he's not really like, mm, you know, she's coming at him. Oh yeah, and everything else. I was thinking I would really like to see after about like three days, like if they don't get any donations, nothing like three days. But I don't even think that would like, I don't think that would do anything to change. They would just beg. They double down on begging. How long or what do you think needs to happen for them to actually like jumpstart them or kick their ass into gear? Is there anything? I don't know. 
you think it's a lost cause? Like, do you think that no matter what, like, even if they got, you know, three, four, five days of no donations, nobody giving them shit, they are, people are done oh, with they them. they would be freaking out. But what, like, I just, anyone else, anyone, like, you're, just your will to live. Like, at that point, you would, you would think, all right, we're not going to get it. I'm going to go to a food bank. I'm going to go beg my uncle. I'm going to go, I'm going to do something. I don't think they would. Yeah. I think they would just double down on begging. Yeah. It definitely uh, wouldn't surprise me. That's what they always have done. Yeah. Really fucking sleep! And it works. I mean, that's the thing, is that some of these tactics, they're ridiculous, but they do work. At, uh, so... You know, as long as it is, they're going to keep trying it. Right. Um, <clears throat> David, thank you for the super chat. You said Rev looks like a freshly broken in prison wife. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Look at him right there. That is sad. That is a sad man. But I think that that's calculated, too. I think he's trying to look yeah, as he, pathetic as possible. Yeah, when he starts kind of getting pissy with her, he's and, and they're doing a live stream like this or whatever, he knows the chat, like, usually is going to take his side and be like, R you know, run, Rev, run, and yeah. shit like that. So he definitely plays up to that when that happens. He knows how to kind of... For sure. Yeah, yeah. He's, I mean, kinda, he's, he's just as manipulative as she is. A hundred percent. And I mean, they have really refined their grifting skill. They know what works. They know what is the most efficient. I mean, this dude, when he did that shit, Lisa, and he just said, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Cigarettes. Like, yeah, that was the most efficient way to kiss up to someone and say what you wanted in about six words. And then you're done. You don't have to do anything else. Get back to video gaming, kissing Shani's ass, whatever he was doing. And now the word's out there. The money will come as soon as it can. Right. <laughs> it's like all the responsibility is on me. And it's like poor fucking Jason. And I'm the one who's goddamn dying. All that I do. I'm the one who can't fucking even barely fucking sleep. Or breathe half the fucking time. But no, it's all on my goddamn I'm the Why only you just one that goes. Sit there and stare. I'm the only one that goes out there and does anything. What the hell Why are you, you talking just about? Sit there and stare, Jason. The only reason that you're able to get anything is because of me. So I don't know what the fuck you're talking. And the about. only reason why you can get anything is because of me. So. What's the point? I don't understand. I'm what you're sick of being the only one that makes fucking money in this house. <laughs> wow. I'm sick of the only one who puts actual fucking work into shit. I can't figure out his tactic. If he's trying While to I'm fucking stupid. sick as anything. Mm -hmm. I can't figure out his tactic. If he's trying to look stupid. If he's like trying to play dumb. He's like, I, I don't know what the point is. What the, what's the point? Like he's almost like trying to sound dumb. I think that he's just, a, it's the being afraid to really. He wants to say something, but he knows he'll get his ass beat. Yeah, I mean, it's weird because there are other times where he definitely um, yells and screams right back at her. It's just weird. It's it, it's when he's flying off the handle, that's when he does that. But pretty much any other time he does this and just falls in line. But when he gets yeah. really, really, really pissed off, like he, every once in a while that happens, then, then he starts slipping and saying some stuff like, what he says in this about breaking up and shit. Right. And I'm sick. Of, I'm sick of the only one who puts actual fucking work into shit. While I'm fucking sick as anything, I'm sick of that. Sick of living like this. Why don't you leave me then? Is that what you want? Yeah, kind of.
Yeah. Why? Kinda. What did I do? Why don't you leave me then? Is that what you want? Yeah, kind of. Like, I remember I was watching this and streaming it live. And when he said that, oh, well, first off, when they started arguing like this at all, I was like, here we go. Because it had been like a pretty boring day and they had streamed for like, she had been on for hours and hours. It was when she was doing those stupid, you know, uh, crime things and stuff like that. Yeah. And uh, when she came on and did that, like, oh, my God. It was nuts. But she says that. Is that what you want? And then as soon as he says, kind of, yeah, she immediately goes the other way. Why? What did I do? Like, what? Right. Like, why, why go the other way all of a sudden? Mm-hmm. I'm fucking sick as anything! I'm sick of that! Sick of living like this! Why don't you leave me then? Is that what you want? Yeah, kind of. Why? What did I do? She's bitching about him, talking shit, and then as soon as he says, yeah, kind of, she's back the other way. Wait, wait, why? What did why? I do? Now she's trying to get him to stay. So weird. <laughs> this went well. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're just staring and not staring. Anything to anyone, Jason? Why did you even go on? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Why did you even go on if you're just gonna stare and look fucking like insane, and then everyone's blaming it on me, and I didn't even do anything? Yeah, I'm going off, and don't ask me to go on again. I did it. Yeah, right. You did in my ass. He said, "Well, oh no. Well, no." Yeah. Um, all right, you want to watch a couple more things and then we'll wrap it up and call it a night? It's getting kind of late. I'm on your time, Jeans. Let's do some trivia. I haven't, I haven't seen this one in a little while, so I pulled it up so that we can watch it. Now, don't ruin it by being off time, so. Oh, yes, my favorite. The Reverend Dude individual. I got amazing news from my lawyer. Yeah. Oh, it's a different one. And I have to say, I know what you guys did now on the day the Shane Dawson video we premiered in. Yeah. Uh, what you guys did. And um, I have to say, uh, according to Discovery... I, I win, win. Yeah. because it kind of sucks when you have cops on camera joking about it. Joking about oh. it. Wow. What? Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Did your little plans backfire? I win. She doesn't even what know how to like do like situation. a cute face. I'm not the talking anymore. The got a duck mouth. Okay. But I win. Yep. <laughs> oh shit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> For all the people thinking I'm gonna go broke. What? No. I... <sighs> G man, you want me to buy you a car or something? Oh, that's gonna happen, folks. Do you, Do you believe, believe the, the blessings, blessings in the, the body, body of Christ, Christ right, right now, now folks? Jesus <laughs> loves me. This Jesus loves me. Lord, yes, 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 I know. Wait a second. Did they not rehearse this? For the Bible tells me so. Did they not rehearse this? Because he thought she was going to start singing different words. He started singing. Right. <laughs> no, yeah. They're doing oh, two different shit. versions. Two, two different versions, versions of it. Jesus loves me. Yes, for yes, yes, I know. So. For the Bible, the Bible tells, tells me so. so. The Bible, Bible tells, tells me so. so. 
Braids, you're delayed. Stop no, I'm not. You that. know, I'm not. You know, I'm right you on really time. You really are. You really are. It <laughs> will ruin it. So you have to stop. Jesus, he oh. tells me so. This is so powerful. Your individual. plans fail, devil. Your, Your plans <laughs> fail, devil. And I'm going to get rich out of it. Oh, my God, individuals. And you <laughs> stupid fucks. You still gonna be poor and wish I'm gonna go to jail, but I'm not. Because <laughs> I win, uh huh. Because I'm a queen, no and you cannot job. take me down. Because I will always be queen. Ha 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 I just got this eviction notice that we gotta be kicked out here in the weekend, and we're losing our fucking car and everything all at once. I need fucking help. can't let it play long or it'll copyright it i know it's that weird that one just that that music string of music so you brought up please notice me i thought that's what you were playing so i figured i would pull up their channel just in case since there's quite a few of you guys um watching right now maybe you have not seen please notice me stuff but really really cool hilarious trippy just great content um and this is from their channel this is one of my all-time favorites it's hilarious we're gonna get really nuts folks and we're gonna we're gonna put we're gonna put a friggin' SD card oh, chip reader in an SNES cartridge and then boom, you get the EverDrive. And there's every SNES game ever made on here, plus hacks, plus fan games, plus, which is called a homebrew, plus, 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 plus. It's like in Mario when you get the when you get the mushroom, it goes da da la 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 la, and you power it up. You get yourself one of these. It's an SNES. Fuck you. It's an SNES EverDrive. You have to look into it, but it costs a lot of money if you're gonna get it with the SD card. They're gonna say sell it. Uh, every place I go now, they no longer sell. <laughs> Oh god. You okay, dear? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. But it's amazing. Okay, that little SD card goes right to the top of this bit. It's insane, see? See? And then you got a, you got a USB uh, uh, plug there, too. Or that might be mini SD card. I don't know, but I don't think so. It looks like a big one. Right? And, and then you got a reset button in there. But it's got the cartridge. So that's the cartridge, right? For an SNES. EverDrive. You get one. It, they're expensive, though. With the, If you can find the SD card, which is probably going to be close to $400 for that. But it's worth it if you love old <laughs> And they're rock on again, and yeah. <laughs> you play it, yeah. I'm going you have to. have that window up. Yes, sir. Yeah, baby. I did it. Oh, my God. This is happy times. Oh, my God. See, this is an amazing stream, and people will like playing and I, on a get jobs see what happened i don't need to listen to that i'm just ignoring it the makeup you look amazing delusional people
She thought she was sexy as fuck. Rev took off the jacket thinking he's some kind of hunk. Yeah. It's crazy. All right. Let's see. I want to just watch a couple of short uh, clips and then... We played it, Silent Sledge. Wrap it up for the night. This is Hi, I'm High. This is from 2019. Hi, I'm Shani for Christ, and, like, right now, I'm, like, super fucking high. So if you want to see me, like, online right now, you might want to come on to Shani Loves Games and, like, harass the living fuck out of me or something. Because I am stoned as a motherfucker. And it's hilarious to watch. It'll be very entertaining to you unless I fall asleep and die. I'll even put myself on camera <coughs> just to appease the flock. So come to Shetty Loves Games. I am live. <laughs> She's so gross. But was that, I mean, is that just a tactic? Like, you can come and harass me, but at least come I watch? I guess so. That's weird. What is that? Which one? This? Oh, that's not Shani. No, down one, over left. Here? Down one. Down this one. Guy? Yeah. Von Helton? That's Von Helton? Yeah, you want to watch it? Here. Um, what is this that we're looking at there? That's, uh, that's my, that's my PayPal account. It goes straight to, straight to me. You can write a note. Uh, saying the money goes to a certain thing. Well, th there's plenty of things I can do with it, brother. Trust me. Um, plenty of things. I got three kids, remember? You know, and the, and, and the trolls are always bitch. you never spend nobody on the kids. Well, the kids have trust funds, but the kids do need shit. Um, you know, so I can, you know, I can uh, get them some, some stuff for winter. And, you know, cause you can't get enough winter clothes with kids. So, um, you know, I can definitely um, get them some winter clothes. But, you know, you know, what the trolls, you know, the trolls are constantly bitching about the kids. But, see, the kids have trust funds. Uh, the kids are basically set for life. I'm the, I'm the poor son of a bitch. Oh, God. <laughs> you know, the kids, though, they got trust funds. And, um, like I said, um, you know, the kids have trust funds. They're pretty much set for life. But they do occasionally need stuff, you know. I mean... They could use some gloves and and some mittens and some uh, toboggans and shit like that for winter. But you know, essentially, they're pretty much set. Um, you know, I'm the poor guy. I'm the one that needs shit. My computer equipment is breaking down constantly, yeah. um, and uh, so you know, that's happening. And you know, and then of course I need to keep the and then of course I need to keep the internet on. So this money will go towards doing that most likely. If because uh, I've already I've already actually bought uh, the kids um, gloves and toboggans, and uh, they should be in the mail. You know. Oh wait, I forgot. I don't care about my kids, right, Brett? <laughs> well, Steve Smith, like I said, what all right, you you fuck? you might have joined the video late. All right, let me explain this, Steve Smith, and for everybody else that's out there. My three kids, my three kids, all three of them, they each have a trust fund. All right, and that trust fund is going to make sure that they don't want for anything. Okay, my kids are set as long as they stay with me. Now, if you fools call CPS and get my kids taken and my kids go into foster care, guess what happens to their trust funds? Poof, they're gone. And my kids end up as paupers. So, Wait, what? Call CPS again? You're basically I saying you want my kids to be... Fund works. No. Mm -mm. That is not how that works. Be poor. That's basically what you're saying. You want my kids to be poor and destitute, is what you're saying. For some reason, you call I CPS that the whole and get my kids taken away. Huh? For some reason, unfortunately, I feel like the whole thing's bullshit. Probably. Wait again. Von lies. All right, Shanny. So, my kids are set. They've got trust funds. My kids are set for life. They're richer than me. I'm the poor son of a bitch that's barely getting along. My kids are set. 
all right so yes if i spend the money on computer shit or if i buy ammo for my guns it's because i probably need it okay need i don't know ammo? yet what i will spend and most likely the money will go to my internet because it seems like every time i turn around my internet bills do you need ammo for your gun for what you're not in the military like what you're not having to uh hunt for food to survive no like protect yourself on a extreme. daily basis just you that's what you want to spend it on but it's right. not a necessity so it'll probably go to my inner it and by the way this won't cover the internet it covers a good portion but not all of it but here's the thing you know my kids as long as they stay with me have trust funds they're set for life they're richer than i am in fact they will be inheriting this property i don't get nothing nothing so what I money comes to me either through patreon shit, or paypal normally i mean he looks like a hairless cat <laughs> I'm well within my righteous. Mr. You said, uh, and it's Mr. Unite for the chill wind. Um, but I always just call you Mr. You. So they said, been watching him for 10 years. He never goes outside. Hasn't shot a firearm in a decade and didn't know how to work one when he tried. Oh, gee. Damn. That's hilarious. But he's got to have gun ammo. Right. Yeah, I think that's a. Uh, I think a lot of what this dude says is probably bullshit, but I bet yeah. he's just oh, saying God. that. Yeah. Oh God, he lies a lot. But I bet it's because he has a bunch of trolls, so he's trying to make them think. Um, I have a lot of he's ammo. The one that so. claims that that movie, The Punisher, or whatever that character is about him, was written <laughs> about him. Yeah. Oh, he seriously man. says that. That's funny. Mm -hmm. Spend on me because my kids are already set. So what money comes to me either through Patreon or PayPal? I'm well within my right to spend on me because my kids are already set. Now, like I said to Brett earlier, they they might need little shit like you know some mittens or a toboggan or you know a new coat or something and or galoshes and and I get those too. You know, in fact, somebody just sent me money for that purpose and that stuff is winging its way here as we speak in fact it probably should arrive today um the girl's mittens anyway uh jerry already got his mittens his mittens have spider-man on the on the back anyway um the point is this the point is is that my kids are mr you said after he got out of the army a friend had an ar-15 he couldn't figure out the charging handle, which may have well have been a sign saying, pull me backward, laugh my fucking ass off. <laughs> They're set as long as they stay with me. If CPS is called again and my kids are taken and put into foster care, their trust funds go poof. They're gone. All right. They're gone. Totally gone. All right. So, you know, just keep in mind that, um, you know, when you call CPS, you're basically trying to rob my children of their future just keep that in mind wow that's man manipulative these cows can come up with some crazy shit i just saw the picture and thought i didn't even recognize who the fuck that was david dave Chappelle run for president oh god man mm -hmm. rev has got some hella cleavage in this <coughs> one <coughs> That was funny, Jeans. Where's my uh -huh. laugh track? <laughs> my little legions. Hello. Where, where are thee? Please. Please come out. Come, my little poopies. I shall speak glorious things to you. I have to say this. Dave Chappelle, please run for president. Please do us all a favor and run for president. You are the only one that actually sees the problems in this country and actually talks about needing for them to be fixed. And you've been doing this for over 20 years, sir. 
I am one of your biggest fans, and I love you, and I will, I will always love you, and you are second to Jesus to me in your philosophy and how, how you've inspired my life in so many different avenues and ways. Dave Chappelle? I don't even, under, I don't get it. Um, how is she, he, uh, like... I love, don't get me wrong, I love Dave Chappelle, but I don't understand, like, next to Jesus? That's <laughs> ways. pretty high up you there, You have right? inspired me in ways but that I can't But didn't she say that possibly... you stole her joke or something? Yeah, that's why I, I can't remember if I've seen this one or not, or if it's, if this is where she brings that up, or, because I know she did say that on something. Even say or think or anyway. I love you, Dave Chappelle. Run for president, because no one, no one cares about the common man or speaks for the common man anymore. And I think, honestly, you have enough influence and power to do such. I think you can do it. Do what? You know, my generation, we, we love you. You gave us life, and you, and you allowed us to be free. They, he gave us life. Dave Chappelle. What in the hell? She's high. Yeah. She. <laughs> Shannon, you gotta lay off the weed. <laughs> you know, my generation, we we love you. You gave us life, and you and you allowed us to be free of who we are. And you always expose the government and what they do. They're nasty little things. I, I think I've seen every comedy spe special you've ever done, every movie. Yes, I will be your running campaign. I would what? run for you. Oh, I, I, will, I, ooh, I, could... I will be your running campaign? What the fuck does that mean? I... Is that what she just said? Yes. Special you've ever done in every movie. If we start compiling yes, all the times that she says stupid shit, campaign. words she mispronounces, I don't know that we would be able to find them all. Like it would be an endless task. Yeah, I will be your running campaign. Okay, I would run for you. Oh, I, I, I oh, I could be your vice president. Ah, ooh, ah, I, I, ah, I, ooh, ah. I would, I would run for you. Oh, ooh, ah, oh, I could be your vice president. What do you mean? run for you and what other way would there what <laughs> see that would be kind of scary with me because i'm kind of cuckoo cuckoo no. well that's oh. true whatever i i know white bitches need to shut the fuck up but this white bitch here was influenced by you so do you expect me to shut the fuck up if i'm expect if i was influenced by you I'll leave that to you, sir. You glorious man. Thank you. Thank you for coming out with a surprise special for your people. We really love to hear you, sir. In in, in fabulous of of ways. Fabulous um, of ways. Regarding yeah. things to police brutality and, and race relations. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> May I say that the NYPD police union, you guys are incredible bitches. Mm. You, you, you whine so horribly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god. Why aren't you thinking about us? Come on, we're gonna lose our jobs here, man. We 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 are the most, you know, non-conflict and police force in America. Well, we don't do much to you. We don't do anything to you. Well, we're good to you. We kiss your ass. Don't make us lose our jobs just because you know what happened to George Floyd. It didn't happen that way. It seriously didn't happen that way. It, it, it was a mistake, man. We didn't know. We're, we got low IQs. We got, like, IQs lower than 100. So we don't know when someone says, ooh, ooh, ah, uh, ah, uh, my head hurts. We don't know to, like, put our knee off it because we're stupid. But, you know, you know, please don't take our jobs. <laughs> and, and, 
Where? You're welcome. Uh, I'll text it to you. Well, then I won't have it on the computer. Oh, how do you want me to do it? Send it to me in Discord. Um, maybe Mandalorian already did. Uh, <laughs> yep, <laughs> Mandalorian did it in Discord. That's it pretty much how bitches <laughs> they are. Oh, in the no police zones. She must be watching in us. Seattle. <laughs> Kudos on you. What now? Let me pull. I it guess up. she might. Yeah, she must be watching us. Oh, wait, she sent it to me. I'll send it to you. Well, I think she, I've got it, too. Okay. Um... Hold on one second, guys. Um, I don't know. Can can you send it to me on um Instagram? Sure. Because when I try to save it on Discord, it for some reason makes it really tiny. It doesn't work right. Sorry, guys. Hold on one second. I'm blocked, so they have to send me the shit when. Um. <clears throat> When something goes down with Twitter. Let's see. Oh, you still don't have it? No, I got it. I'm sending it to you in what? Instagram. Okay. All right. All right. Well, did you get it? There we, yeah, I got it. Hold on. <clears throat> open file. Where did it open it? There it is. Sorry. Taking forever here. Screen window and there finally can you see it on the yep. screen now? Yep. Um, it says while people are continuing to live through me, but with distorted lies, I would like to announce that I was minding my own business watching Star Trek today, and then I was yelling my husband's name out in pleasure, and you didn't get any because you were too busy talking about me. Is that supposed to be directed at me? Um, I guess so. Hmm. Whatever. <laughs> Whoever it's directed at. Shani, why do you think just because you have sex that the people that you're talking about don't have sex? I'm just glad that it proves like, they don't have don't, cameras in our house. Like, you do know that, like, I people are not streaming 24 hours a day. I will say this, though. Um... It, she thinks this is like living through her somehow. Apparently. I, I mean, I, I don't get that. <laughs> well, I mean, I, well, I think. Sorry, wait. I was reading something. Yeah, I don't. So the living through her thing, like she says that a lot. I think that she, that's what she, she hopes. She hopes that people are somehow so fascinated by her that they have to live through her. I mean, honestly, this is just entertainment. 
Like it's watch this show or another show. This just happens right. to be the show we're watching. Right. I'm not living. God, I wouldn't want your life. Are you kidding me? I'm not living through you. I'm... And they always come with the distorted lies or something like, like we're literally like, I don't think any of this shit's edited. You just play a stream right. and you talk about I how stupid they are. I literally play you guys in your own words the, and the things that you say. So what's where where's the distortion where are the lies i love it i love it but it's yeah funny. all right let's finish this one up Thank you for that 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 was some ballsy moves on your part i will say that me what what am what what am i doing Oh, I'm, 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 I'm blocked on, on, on Twitter for the time being because I, um, I've been in pr Twitter prison for quite a while now. But the reason why was because I called Tommy Loren a cunt and, um, they, they said I was, like, threatening her or something by calling her a cunt. I mean, maybe, maybe she's got a smelly pussy problem. I don't know. Wow. I don't know. But, y you know, there, there's... There's a lot of cunts out there. There's Ann Cunter. I've been saying that for a long time. That name, that name, I dubbed her a long, a long time. A long, long, long time ago. And what is with you, Trumpers, acting all insane and not listening to any reason? You know, I, I. I started liking Trumpers because they always were like constitutionalists and then they see the constitution completely violated and then they're like, oh, he did it because, you know, looters. And it's like, yeah, but that was the night before. But they deserve it because they're part of the same. No, they're not. Why don't you blame it on the people who did it, not on the people who are standing there unarmed? But <laughs> our government doesn't want to do that, do they? They want to go and stand all pompous and be like, You will have the law and order on you. You cannot leave your house. Don't leave the house. Don't say. What the fuck is she even talking about? I don't about? know. I don't know. <laughs> like, um... we've went from one thing to another and none of it's made sense and... Uh... I'm not sure what the point is. Your voice. Just stay home and we won't clobber you. No. But if you come out, we will use tear gas even though it violates international law. We will what? throw it at you. And rubber booted's coated in iron and steel. Just to make it hurt more. What? And put severe damage on people's heads. Some people died over them. <laughs> but we won't say it's us. Ha 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 ha. We'll blame it on the bricks that we place down on the streets. Just so people could be tempted into throwing them. And then when they're not doing what we wanted them to do and bust up the villages, we're going to do it ourselves. Uh-oh. Angela, thank you for the super chat. She said, here's a little donation, Carrie. Now you guys get a sitter and go get you a room and scream Michael's name. <laughs> well, wow. <laughs> Thank you, Angela. <laughs> I can hear the blush in your voice, Jeans. Luckily, our son is 17, so we don't have to worry about... Um, yeah, he'll sinners. be gone most of the time. Soon we're going to have a lot of time on our hands, aren't yeah. we? But thank you, Angela. I appreciate the super chat. Thank you. And I scream my own name, though. It's, it's really <laughs> weird. Oh, God. You that people would actually make me believe that about you with how you act on here. <laughs> people know the truth. People have seen the truth. 
you you cannot unstop the truth once the truth is true. <laughs> Red Feather said Michael screams TJ's name in his sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Not just in my sleep. Go back. What did Shane just say? Let's see. People know the truth. People have seen the truth. You you cannot unstop the truth once the truth is true. You can't unstop the truth, the truth once the truth is true. And then there's lies. True. And when the truth is presented, all you have is lies left to cover for yourselves. Huh? And that's all we have left within our government. I don't know. Is lies. Can't unstop don't the see. truth. Don't see. Don't see it. It's, it's these people. Don't see us being evil toward you. It's these people. See, Donald Trump has done a glorious thing. He made a permanent enemy. So whenever he does something evil, he'll just constantly point his enemy. Oh, it's the Democrats that did it. It's not me. It's the Democrats. How dare it be me? Oh, no. I'm just an innocent Republican. I wouldn't harm the people. Now shut the fuck up. Have law and order, and let me clatter you with my clubs and shoot you in the face with my rubber bullets when you don't do what I tell you to do. Um, yes. okay. Yes. Fear. Control with fear is so noble. Hey, if you really want to control a populace, weird. It's better to control them with contentment. Give the people what, that, what they want. And then you'll have all control that you want. But no, you want to do the old way, control a power. Go to the old methods. <clears throat> but that only causes more violence, and I think you know that it causes more violence. Because this is the time where violence will be supreme. Because for some reason, people want to call down God's wrath. Well, you're going to receive God's wrath. But not until the time is due. I cannot, and I am forbidden to break the next seal until July 1st. So do as you may. Say as you want. Dave Chappelle, run for president. No one wants Biden. He, he, he just... Uh, it's just sad with Biden. Just a disappointment. Just a disappointment. I say trust the people enough and defund the police. Let the police say goodbye to their jobs. Let them be like us, the lowly people, where they have to like serve food and stuff to people. Oh no, they have to have one of those. Ugly jobs. Uh, let the oh, I, hey, you know what? You 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 cops like donuts so much. I'm sure you could get like hired at Dunkin' Donuts. I hear they're hiring and like Krispy Kreme. You'll you'll be so. I have like I could not tell you what this is about any of this. Right. If it wasn't, if there was no like name to it, you wouldn't even Has know there that been, there ever right. was a theme. Right. Has there been a point at all? Like, This is when they had money, isn't it? Yeah. So they, I think she was high on some shit. Fucked up. But she's talking about cops getting jobs at donut shops and shit. Mm-hmm. Somewhere, and you'll get free donuts and coffee. <laughs> It'll be, you know, at your favor, sir. Made in heaven. You'll love it. And, 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 and then you can treat your customers like crap, like you treat people like crap on the streets. And just be like, hey, it's because life sucks. Because life does suck. But you don't know that because you're too busy at keeping your power. Oh. Ugh. Give up your power. Giving up power is freeing. <laughs> Do you not know that? You should know that. 
She's creepy. I'd rather see the whole She's world a burn psycho. than see innocent people clobbered to death. That's how I feel. You'd rather see the whole world burn Fires. than innocent people clobbered to death. Fires. So yeah, everyone that makes die. a lot of sense. <laughs> everyone die. And so that, wow. She's an idiot. This Straight is, up. This is too stupid. Well then. <laughs> oh my god. Let's do some trivia. I think I'm getting a little tired. Are you done for the night? I got a wook. All right. Which cards? Um, let me. I'll bring you some new ones. Okay. <clears throat> One second, guys. <sighs> Let's see. What what are we gonna play on the way out? Sorry guys. Michael's taking forever. <clears throat> what what are you doing now? Hurry up. Hurry, hurry, hustle, hustle, hurry, hurry, hustle, hustle. So slow. Sorry, she was mesmerized by my body. I'm half naked. Oh my god. Did you really need to tell everybody that? Are you Shanny? That you were mesmerized? Are you Shanny now that you have to tell them your personal business? Wow. Weirdo. Weirdo. All right, go. No oh, me. Mm -hmm. Gen Z won't remember Tom Hanks getting stuck on an island, but they will remember Matt Damon getting stuck on Mars in this movie. Uh. Uh, Mars. Close. The, the, the Martian. Yep. This dating app allowed potential dates to swipe right on profiles if they wanted to meet up. Tinder. What? Da Jeans? <laughs> <laughs> How did you know that one so quick? You're like, Tinder, just... it's Tinder, Tinder, it's Tinder, it's Tinder. I know that one is Tinder. It's Tinder. Because I've heard people talk about swiping right. right. Okay. I'm... I've literally it's... never been on the app. I'll be taking your phone. Getting married and having a son inspired this singer to write Girl on Fire. Alicia Keys. While trying to obtain paperwork for marriage, what Washington Post columnist was murdered and dismembered at a Saudi consulate in Turkey? Oh, God. I don't remember his name. Jamal Khashoggi. Oh, yeah. Never would have thought of that. In... The Big Bang Theory, what did Dr. Sheldon Cooper say after playing a practical joke on people? I have no clue. Bazinga. Nope, never seen it. Is that it? My turn, <clears throat> yeah. What TV show featured the iconic main character, Michael Scott? Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, what it is. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what is this one? Hurry up. I'm the hungry. office. What was the name of the popular soft plush dolls with terry cloth mouths that sang and made noises when squeezed? Terry cloth mouths. Don't know. Sing a mudjings? Yeah, sing a jigs. Sing a jig. I don't know. Sing a jigs. Which single by Little Nas X featuring Billy Ray Cyrus broke Billboard records in 2019? Um. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Mm-mm. I know. I mean, I know the song. I just don't know the name of it. What is the name of it? Uh, I don't know the name of it, but I mean, I know the song. It's the. I'm gonna. Oh, take my horse to the old town road. Is that what it is? Take my horse. What is it? Old town road. What is the name of the song? Old town road. I knew it. I said it. No, I, I said it. You. In 2011, what terrorist was killed in Pakistan as a result of an American top secret raid on its ca- compound? One more time. Oh, uh, um, say it. Do it again. Say the, the question road. again. In 2011, what terrorist was killed in oh. Pakistan as a result of an American top secret raid on its compound? Osama bin Laden. What was the phrase okay boomer used to imply? That you're old. No. Okay boomer? The 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 baby boomer said something stupid. Not old. Okay. Next. The main characters in Disney's descendants were descendants of whom? Disney villains. What video game series allowed the user to build, explore, and fight as a favorite Disney character? Read it again. What video game series allowed the user to build, explore, and fight as a favorite Disney character? Is it Kingdom of Hearts? Close. Disney Infinity. But that's what I would have guessed too. This La La Land song won the Academy Award for Best Original Song in 2017. Don't have a clue. City of Stars. Mm-mm. Also known as Pharma Bro, this man was sentenced in 2018 to seven years in federal prison for two counts of security fraud. What's the beginning of that again? Also known as Pharma Bro. Pharma Bro? Yep. I don't know. Martin Shkreli. Who Um, is that? These might be too new for us. We might be too old for these ones. But uh, let's keep going. What was the term used for describing someone who was hungry? And oh, when Shani is hungry and mad at Rev, she is hangry. Yes. Okay. The world lost this prolific co-writer and creator of the Marvel Universe in 2018. Oh, Stanley. What app allowed a person to hear nearly any song on their phone, but with ads if they didn't have premium? Spotify. In light of the hashtag MeToo culture, this beloved holiday classic came under the microscope in 2018 for inappropriate lyrics. Holiday classic? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Baby, it's cold outside. Oh, didn't know that. In 2011, what female senator was shot in the head when a gunman opened fire outside a supermarket where she was meeting constituents? Um, one more time. In 2011, what female senator was shot in the head when a gunman... Oh, Gabby, uh, Gabby, what was her name? Gabby Gifford? Yep, Giffords. This phrase requested photographic evidence from someone telling an unbelievable story as proof the events actually occurred. One more time. This phrase requested photographic evidence from someone telling an unbelievable story as proof the events actually occurred. No idea. Picks or it didn't happen. We are too old for these. Last right. go round. Complete the name of this TV show. Okay, so then this card is for the usual bets. Okay, go. 
complete the name of this TV show, The Sweet Life of... Zach and Cody. It's Zach and Cody, but yes. I just said Zach and Cody. You said Zach and Cody. It's Zach and Cody. I said Zach and Cody. No, you said it like this, though. You said Zach and Cody. Zach and Cody. Right. That's right. You said Zach and Cody. Oh, my God, Michael. I will <laughs> fucking hurt you. <laughs> Move it on, bitch. I'm hungry. <laughs> Damn, somebody's hangry. I'm hangry. After her debut stand-up comedy special, She Ready, from the Hood to Hollywood, She Ready, from the Hood to Hollywood, she was the first black female comedian to host SNL. Whoopi Goldberg? No. Way newer than that. I'll give you um, another guess. First one to host. Host SNL. Um, I can't think of it. What's another movie she was in? Let's see. I'll tell you. Uh, she was in Girls Trip, Night School, Nobody's Fool. Um, I don't know. Tiffany Haddish. Yeah, I wouldn't have guessed it. What Australian artist began one song, I'm So Fancy, You Already Know? Iggy Azalea. I tried to say it. Did you hear how I tried to say it? I'm so fancy. I know. If I said it like any kind of inflection, you would have got Convicted sex offender Larry Nasser abused countless girls over decades. What sport? Was Gymnastic. he the national? I think it's pronounced gymnastics, but I'll give it to you. Jimmy this, this was the <laughs> perfect hashtag to use when someone saw something they wanted to have someday. Goals? Exactly. Hashtag goals. Oh. Wait. You said goals. You didn't say hashtag goals. Right. So you didn't get that one. Yeah, I did. I got all those, didn't I? No. Which one did I get wrong? You didn't get Zach and Cody, and you didn't get Tiffany Haddish. I didn't get Tiffany Haddish, so I got four. So you, you got have three to get out of five. Four, you have to get, no, I got four. You got four. three out of five, and I Michael, gave you one. Michael, be honest. <laughs> you got four. All right. You have to get four or five. So, well, you have to get five to win. I got to get, well, if we tie, then we both get our reward. No. We both get our treats. No. Then it comes down to... Oh, uh, sudden death. <laughs> sudden death. <laughs> All right. What was the name of the actor slash singer that played Austin Moon in Austin and Alley? Oh, one more time. What was the name of the actor singer that played Austin Moon in Austin? Ross Lynch. All right. In twenty nine, in two thousand and nine, what popular crowdsourcing company allowed users to fund an idea or an intervention, invention, not an intervention, um, by providing differently levels of buy-ins? Here, I'll read it again. In two thousand and nine, what popular crowdsourcing company allowed users to fund an idea or invention by providing differently? Providing differently levels. That doesn't make sense. Of buy-ins. By providing differently levels. Um, That's the way it's wrote. It sounds weird to me. Providing differently levels of buy-ins. It says differently. But that just sounds really weird. Anyway, it's just asking for the name of this. The name of a crowd. Sourcing company. Crowdsourcing company. And it asks for, and it says they do what? They offer what? In 2009, what popular crowdsourcing company allowed users to fund an idea or invention by providing 
differently levels of buy-ins. I don't. I I think it should just say different. Is it Kickstarter? Levels. Yes. All right, it's the only one I knew. I think that it should say providing different levels of buy-ins. Probably, I just couldn't figure out what it was it's asking. A typo or what? In 2019, this R&B singer was arrested on federal charges alleging sex crimes and obstruction. R. Kelly. What TV show did Meghan Markle have to quit in order to marry into the royal family? Oh. I know what she was on. It's a TV show? I guess so. Was it raining? Probably. I think. I don't know. Is it suits? Or is it suits? And you're just randomly guessing these things. Come on. It was suits or castle. What did clap back mean? Respond. Is that right? Well, it's a little more complicated than that. Uh, respond to somebody who talks shit about you, disses you, something like it's that. It's getting back at someone with a witty response for being confronted or insulted. I think you know that I got the spirit of the answer. I think no? you cheated. I think you cheated. You don't think All I right. got that? We're going to wrap it up, guys. I just won, and you're that's all you have to say. <laughs> what? It's just you, all it is now is that we're even because you didn't ever pay up from the other day. Well, that's a huge letdown. <laughs> <laughs> you're so stupid. <laughs> so stupid. Oh, um. Well, we're going to wrap you, it up, guys. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. It's getting late, and uh, I'm tired. Um, I shall be around tomorrow. I don't know whether what to think about Shani as far as if she's going to come on or not come on. Um, but I have a couple of ideas for some other types of streams. So maybe we'll try one of those out tomorrow if she is um, has another day of being quiet um, again tomorrow. So, <clears throat> all right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for coming on, babe. Of course. And I'm going to leave you guys with a song the way that I do. And have a good rest of your night. And I'll see you guys next time. Love you, Jean. Love you guys. Love you. Night, everybody. Yeah. You are my fire. The one desire. Believe. When I say I want it that way But we are two worlds apart Can't reach to your heart When you say that I want it that way Tell me why it ain't nothing but Tell me why I never want to hear you say I want it that way Am I your fire, your one desire? Yes, I know it's too late, but I
can see that we've fallen apart from the way that we used to be, yeah No matter the distance, I want you to know That deep down inside of me You are my fire The one desire You are, you are Don't wanna hear your name, but I ain't nothing but a mistake. I don't wanna hear you say, I want it that way. Tell me why. Tell me why. See, I did a good for my range. Now. Oh. I want it that way. No heartache. But a mistake. See, I used to be able to sing it that way. I can't now. Cause I want it that way I used to be able to do that <laughs>